Yo, we're here. Anyone out there? Hello? Hmm, what's this? YouTube is not receiving enough video. What? Why? Did I get affiliated? No. <laughs> you have to stream, um, you have to stream like seven times or something to get that. And I've only streamed like twice, so. Nope, not yet. But I did do the, um, oh wait, I didn't add the uh, chat to the other screens. Hold on. Wait, wait, production ramping. Production quality ramping. Hold on. Wait. Why can't I copy this? Wait a minute. Copy. Paste. There we go. Paste. 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 There we go. There it is. Now you're there. Look. Look, there you are. There you are, right here. You guys are right here. Man, it's so hard to point. It's so hard to point at stuff on the screen. <coughs> does that look good? Does that does that chat box look alright? Or is it too small? Hmm. Why is this, why is this, uh, hmm. is the bitrate scuffed? Is the stream quality scuffed, guys? Okay, excellent connection. Um, is, the, is the stream quality scuffed or does it look good? Is it normal? Chat is scuffed? Chat scuffed? What do you mean? Uh oh. YouTube chat? YouTube chat is there. It's, yeah, it's working. They're both there. But they're combined. They're in the same chat now. We did it. We successfully combined the chats. I figured it out. Nothing wrong with anything. Cool, cool, cool. Um, been waiting all day? Yeah. Hmm. Man, the chat's kind of like hard to read though because like all the names look exactly the same. Is there some way to... Let me see if there's a way to uh, like differentiate them somehow or something. I just set this up a little while ago, so let me let me tweak the settings of the wee bit here. What happens if I change some of these? I probably have to re-embed this. Hold on, default, default compact. Pull it up a bit. It doesn't load new chat. No, it's on top now. It's on top now. It's like reversed. The new chats are on the top instead of on the bottom. I, I want it on the bottom, but I don't know how to get it like that. I don't know how to get it to go to the bottom. It's uh, it's the reverse now. I tried to find a setting, but this app... I'm using this program or this app called Restream, and... I can't find any setting that says to put the new messages on the top or bottom. <coughs> yeah, it looks weird. It does look weird. I don't know how to fix it, though. I don't see a setting anywhere for it. I looked. I looked. Wow. 
Why are you using Restream? To combine the chats. To combine the YouTube and Twitch chats. They're both th there in the same chat. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know what to do. It's good. Did you do Nightbot? Yeah, I did. I activated Nightbot and I added you. I added you as a manager on there, Spross. You should test it. See if it does some. See if it works. <clears throat> Although I don't know what you can do with it, really. I didn't really experiment with it much. Can't you do um, like slash pull? Um, new. Does it work? Um, and then this thing, yes. And then this thing, no. Unrecognized command slash pull. Um, maybe it's not working. Slash commands. Bot commands for this channel are available at this website. Yeah, see, it's working because that came up. Um, oh yeah, I did one for YouTube. I did exclamation mark YouTube. Show my YouTube channel, and then what else? Commands. Um, hmm. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Log in. Um, commands default. Oh wait, is it? I did slash. Oh, I'm so stupid. Wait. Pull new. Does it work? Yes. No. No, it didn't work. It returned an error. How do you do that? I don't know, dude. That shit's confusing. I'm gonna have to learn that shit later. Nightbot is confusing, man. I thought it was like you typed slash pull or you typed exclamation mark pull and it just like started the pull and you, you could like click on it. But it doesn't seem like it. that's how it works. You have to like type in all the shit like with little space things in between it or something. Uh, I don't know. Thanks for saving Frostblades. <laughs> Straw pull API. Once you get affiliate, then our pulls like baked into Twitch. Once you get affiliate or something. Is that how it works? Um, you also get predictions. Oh, predictions. Right, right, right. How do you... Well, never mind. I'm not there yet. Okay, I'm going to go get my drink, and then I'm going to put my I gotta put my socks on my feet, because my feet are going to get real cold. And, uh, and then we're going to blast, guys. We're going to blast in just a minute. <coughs> Great news. Hold on, wait. I have great news. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, look! It's back! It's back! It's back! Yes! Yes! It's back!
Ah, yep, the Cajun crab dip, boys. I thought it was gone, but it was actually back. You guys probably thought I was going to say I figured out a way to make make more damage on Frostblades or something, huh? Nope. Nope. Frostblades damage is in the gutter, boys. It's in the gutter. That's alright, because it's still going to be fun. Frostblades doesn't even need damage, dude. It's not a boss killer, really. Frostblades was, like, never, you know, really a boss killer. It's a mapping build at the end of the day. I think primarily it's a mapping build. It can boss with heavy investment. Heavy, heavy investment. Ah. All right, what's going on, guys? What's going on? How you guys doing? Very easy. Don't worry about it. Snacks, dude. The crab dip, dude. They didn't. Hit. When I went to the store yesterday, or uh, maybe it was two or three days ago. The section where it was, like they read, they redid the whole section where it was at, and like the shelves were all different and stuff. So I thought it was just gone, but then I went earlier today, ah, and it was back. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, look what else I got, guys. Look what else I got. See this? See anything different here? You guys, see anything different here? Look at this. That's right, my new graphics card game today. I am officially a Radeon graphics card gamer, boys. I am a Radeon 6750 XT gamer now. Yep. Wow, 30 FPS in Apex Legends? No, that's not right. Look at that, though. Look at that. 157 FPS in Warzone, though. Look at that. 100 FPS in Witcher 3. That was on ultra settings, by the way. 1440p ultra settings, by the way. Woo, yeah. I don't know what this is, though. That's not right. That is, there's no shot that's right. Unless that's, like, in the menus or something. Because in the game, it was, like, it was, like, way higher than that. Are you willing to try emulate to check out the uptime, or is it scrapped? Um... Am I willing to try the emulate? Um, well, what did we figure out? What did we figure out with it? Let me look again. Uh, is this it? 37 million? 37 million? With freeze? Wait a minute, we were up until like 44 million, weren't we? Or is that like a standard boss? No, that's still only 39 million. We were up until like 44 million at the end of the stream yesterday, right? On this setup. What What did I... Uh, I must not have saved something. I must have like closed it without saving or I changed something without saving it. There's something different here. Because this was up to like 44 million. What, what did I... Uh, what did I mess up? I changed something. I must have changed something. High budget gems. Um, I don't know. There's something different here, but it's not really that big of a deal. Max menu FPS. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Never played a dedicated boss to killer. I was gonna try to find one. I think ultimatum will be too fun. Yeah, man. Ultimatum's gonna be so good, dude. Ah, oh, it's so good. Five percent more, but unreliable. Are we still using Heat Shiver? Yes, we are. And we're all here in the same chat now. Yep. Um, okay, what did we figure out again with the Immolate? It was just not enough damage, right? Or it was like unreliable? Hold on, let's go back to the day. Or should we look at it here on the high budget version again? Let's go ahead and, and just look at it here, I guess. Immolate and Trinity. Emulate Trinity, and we'll go ahead and put quality on them because this is the high budget version. And then that's going to give up Ruthless and Added Cold, right? And then put Trinity on. Okay, the damage is like the same, I think. And then the fire damage. Okay, this is... This is um. This is probably pretty reliable to proc here. 
I don't remember what's different here. There's something big different here. Heat Shiver is still the best helmet, guys. It is 100% still the best helmet. Even after they took off half of its damage, it's still the best helmet. Um, what did I put in here? No Trinity with Trinity. Yeah, we looked at it. We definitely looked at it because this is, this is where this note came from last night. We put Trinity on and then we uh, test it without it. And it's uh, it's just not good, man. It's just not good. I think on like the day one setup, it was like slightly, slightly better. But it was like really on the borderline of reliable proccing. Um, I'm not sure. Auras? Is it the auras? I think the auras are fine. Yeah, these are level 21 auras. Level 21 auras. Accuracy is capped. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to like really deep dive this to figure out what's going on with it. I spent five hours on Trinity and I had to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. What's this picture? Trinity in the recycle bin. Is that the recycle bin logo? The binity. Oh yeah, binity. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what it is. It's binity. Let me close this. No disassembly required. Stop posting links. Oh, why is Nightbot saying stop posting links? I don't really care if people post links, I guess. The immolate note was day one. Oh, right here, you mean. Um, okay, so here was no heat shiver. This was add-on the heat shiver and then this was add on the yoke and then this was with trinity so this was without trinity and this was with trinity it's like five percent better but it's not really reliable because the damage thresholds were like very very tight um we tested it again later too because that's where this one came from and it was just uh it was just worse later yeah, I don't. I don't think it can work, man. So let's see that. Let's see this uh, damage again here. Twenty-five with Trinity procced, thirty-seven. Okay. And one seventy-two, one thirty-six. This is enough to proc. This is enough fire damage to proc here. Uh, with immolate. Although, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> yeah, this is with a Watcher's Eye, too. Without that Watcher's Eye, it would be like much closer to even. Did he ever nerf Brick the build? No, no. Yeah, I didn't. Is it mid-budget enough to 40-40? Um, it depends on what the challenges are. If the challenges include uber-bossing, then maybe not. But even even then, probably, probably yes. It just depends. You just need to invest money, man. You're gonna have to invest money in the build. Frostblades cannot just waltz into Uber bosses on day two. You you need to invest heavily in Frostblades to do Uber bosses. Frostblades is not a budget boss killer, guys. It, it's just not. It's not that. It never has been. It never was that. Not even last league, it wasn't a budget Uber boss killer. Okay, 37 million with the Trinity. Man, I, I'm. I don't know what the hell we changed. Yeah, and then look, 39 million with with Ruthless and added cold. Trinity's just not good, man. It's just not good anymore. Ruthless and added cold is just better. You have to you have to give up too much to proc it. Although I'm still I'm still like confused about what's different here cuz we lost like 5 million damage somehow. There must have been something in the POB that I changed. Let's look at the tree. This is a level 97 tree. Um, probably buy boss runs. Yeah, you could do that. If, if all you care about is challenges, you could definitely do that. Did I change something on this tree here? Let's see. Oh yeah, I added a white wind tree. I added in the white wind tree into the POV. For all you white wind gamers out there. Uh, that'll be in there 
whenever the build gets posted, that'll be in there. No, this looks the same. I don't think I changed anything here. Power, frenzy power, jewel, 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 jewel. The lethal pride? This is the this was the better lethal pride. Intimidate is on too. Hmm. Yo, what up, Last Phoenix? Trinity was only good because you didn't need anything to proc it. Yeah, Trinity was free before, so free. Yeah, Ruthless will give consistent freezes. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be just fine. White win. Stop spamming caps. Why are these Nightbot warnings going off, man? This Nightbot is... I don't want it to be doing all that. I don't need my Nightbot to be a fucking moderator. I just want it to be there so I can do polls or whatever whatever other functionality comes along with it. Bitch-ass Nightbot. Yeah. What the hell? Tiny dead? Tiny dead. Sir? What does that mean? What does that mean, sir? Um. And Twitch is so weird, guys. I have to get used to streaming on Twitch. It's it's much different. Um, if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, go follow my Twitch. Uh, you can you can uh. Go to my Twitch channel with the same name as my YouTube channel and uh, check out the stream there, guys. We're, we're a legit Twitch streamer now. Alright, I don't really want to stare at POB again. If I keep doing this, I'm going to end up getting trapped staring at POB uh, for five hours again, and I don't want that. How do I get this to show... Hmm. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Wait, does the title? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, does the title? Does the title of my stream say live with restream? That is the title of my Twitch stream, isn't it? Why is that the title? Hold on, I gotta I gotta fix this. What the hell, dude? Hold on, Twitch. I gotta get used to Twitch, guys. I, I'm a Twitch noob. How do I fix this? Edit stream info. Live with restream. No, 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 no. Ross blades practice run. Um. Done. Okay, there. There we go. All right. Why did that? Why was it called that? And why is my restream not... Uh, I just gotta get used to this shit. I just gotta get used to this shit. Alright, I'm closing... Well, no, I'm not gonna close this. I'm actually just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna leave it, like, right here. And, uh... Refer to it when I'm leveling a little bit. Alright, let's play the game. Who want, who wants to see some gameplay today? Yesterday we didn't we did like five minutes of gameplay in an eight hour stream yesterday. Today we should do some gameplay, huh? Nine square Twitch streamer. Yeah, I'm definitely earning some squares on the Twitch bingo board right now. For sure. Uh where's my I don't have any SSF characters. What's this? Delete this guy. I need to do a full migration too, I think. Let me delete this guy. Uh, create SSF Ancestor League. A character with this name already exists. Wow, look at that. What are the chances? Oh, you guys can't see. I just like spam clicked. Oh my god, I did it again even longer and it still exists. What? Okay, there we go. That, what are the odds of that? What the hell? <clears throat> Alright, this is not my mule, guys. You might think this is a mule. Uh, what about my cam? Is this camera position good for PoE? 
Um, where should I have this? It's right there, good. Where should I put it, like, over here? I don't know, I feel like right there's a pretty decent spot, huh? It's, like, not covering in the bars, it's not covering this. It's this spot right here, good. I think that's a pretty good spot for it, whatever. I don't feel like, uh... Wait, did I just... Oh, I sure did. God damn it. Hold on, guys. I deleted my... I hit Control z too many times. I gotta put the chats back. I deleted the chats from the other the other uh, overlays. Okay. Alright, let's go. This is not my duelist mule, guys. I'm gonna make sure I don't need to migrate my uh, SSF. Although I think it's already done from when I went to trade league. But I'm just gonna check. Right in the middle. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, look at my FPS now, guys. I changed some settings. Holy! Holy, dude! I changed some settings when I put in the new graphics card, and look at those frames, boys! 200 FPS! What? What? Oh yeah, I should probably put this gem in, huh? New gamer here, guys. Teach me how to play PoE. How do I kill Hillock, guys? What do I do? What do I do? How do I kill this guy? He's so scary. Nine square streamer. <laughs> That's another square. Yeah, I'm earning them. I'm earning them left and right, dude. How's the music volume today? Everyone always complains about the music volume. Is it too loud still? Like it is every day somehow. Oh, I'm on a. Uh, I'm on a s some kind of loot filter here. Juiced. <laughs> Coming from YouTube. Hey, what's going on? Alright, SSF. Pull out his sword and lick it. What? The music's too quiet today. Alright, do I have anything in the stash? No, I think it's completely clean. I think it's completely clean, huh? What about this shit? All these affinities and stuff is like working. Yeah, they're all on. Alright, well, should I start over and do a duelist mule and, like, put up a timer and shit, guys? Or should I just, like, go from here? Okay, let's let's do, like, an official timer. Let's, let's, this, uh, I don't need to migrate because there's nothing there. Let's just delete this guy and then we'll start again. Um, with the timer and be cool and stuff. Although I don't have timer, like, technology integrated into my OBS anymore. I deleted that shit. So how do I do a timer? Um, hold on. Just play, go from here. He played the build last league, it was amazing. No timer, that's another square. <laughs> that is 100% another square, god damn it. I had it in here before, like, somewhere. Output timer? Where is it, dude? Use this to add a timer. Can I do it quickly? Yeah, I think I watched the same video. Um, okay, so you add a source and you add a text source. Add a text source. Timer. Okay. Time, and then then what? What do I do now? Doesn't this require a script or something? Click the description for the script. I already have that script. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. Um, tools, scripts, stopwatch. Yeah. Hold on. Timer up. Count up. Timer settings. Timer source. Timer. Um, start timer. Is that working? That's working, isn't it? Alright, we're online already, I think. Hold on. Let me just uh, 
We just like put this where I want it and shit. And then, uh... We'll make that not quite so ridiculously large. Um... Where should I put it? Like, right? No, that's on top of my shit, right? Where's a good place to put this? Oh, man. Where's a good place to put this? I'm stun locked. Is that too small? That looks pretty big, man. I don't really care, like, what it looks like. That's good enough. Uh, right there. Right there, huh? Put it over here. Yeah, that's good. Whatever. Alright, now how do I restart it? Lock. Tools. Scripts. Oh, there's like hotkeys. Wait a minute. What are the hotkeys? We're about to start our run, boys. What the hell are the hotkeys? Settings. It's in the scripts window. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, but I don't see it. I remember there was hotkeys before because I like... I accidentally pressed them like a couple times. Start, reset. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna start it right now. Okay, start. Go, go, go. All right, we're playing. New league, brand new league. Here we go. We just started. All right, boys. Leveling, leveling gameplay is here. This is a duelist mule now. Official, official duelist mule. My loot filters are scuffed too, I think. Oh yeah, well I'm uber strict. That needs to go on regular. Keep running. Regular. Save. <coughs> Do the frost blades still good? Do the frost blades still still good? Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fine, man. It's gonna be fine. It's going to be fine. Do do. How do we do this again? We have to uh get splitting steel, right? And a two-handed sword or axe to go do hail rake. Go 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 go. Fast 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 fast. Log out. Log back in. Run over here. Uh, get splitting steel. Check this guy for for runner's boots, and check him for uh, green, 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 red, red links. Uh, like this. Ah, oh, but it's an armor scrap. I can't buy it. Uh, what else? Okay, I can buy I can buy this though. Put that on, and then put that support on it, and put splitting steel on it, and then go. Go 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 go. Did they remove Call of Steel? Um, I don't know, actually. They kind of did, because like, the Steel skills don't need to use it anymore. Or like some of them don't need to use it, I think. I'm not sure, though, if it's like actually just gone like effectively or not. I hope it is, because it kind of sucks. Ooh, an Alteration Orb. That's big. Give me that. Oh my god, Wisdom Scrolls. I can't just leave those on the ground. Okay, I'm not picking up silver coins, though, because we're not in Total League. This is Affliction League. Oh, shit, I didn't put that on. Please don't be a dead end. Steel skill changes. I, d I definitely read the Shattering Steel changes, and I was not happy with them at all. The Shattering Steel changes were complete ass from what I read. Complete ass.
I assume you play with Trickster. Yep, this is a Trickster. This is the Shadow right here. Green, red, green, green. This is the Shadow. They changed the model. <coughs> Streamer opinions seem to be that Splitting Steel is broken. Yeah, it does seem good. The changes to Splitting Steel did seem pretty good. Not Shattering Steel, though. Because um, Splitting Steel didn't lose the buff that it had from the Steel Shards. So, like, Splitting Steel just got... You don't have to reload anymore, basically. You just don't have to reload anymore, which is awesome. Call of Steel felt bad, but did big damage. It did big damage for, like clear though that you like don't need because like splitting steel can already clear like good by itself quick silver flask we get ancestral call and we purchase ruthless and then we go to mud flats and we come back from mud flats and we get um wait waypoint let's go to waypoint we come back from uh mud flats and we get ancestral protector and steel skin Ancestral Protector is the biggest reason you do this, guys. The reason I think that this mule is worth doing is, number one, Ancestral Protector, which you cannot get into Library if you don't do this. <coughs> number two, Second Quicksilver Flask, which you, is nice to have, and instead of doing that Act 2, like, Den quest, you can just get it from here instead. Woo! God damn it, I'm bad at this. Uh, and then also... Having Ancestral Call up until you get the additional strike is also kind of worth, in my opinion. Jesus, these Roas, dude. Why is literally Mudflask the hardest zone in the game? Okay, where's the third one? Where's the third one? I don't want to have to backtrack over here. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, I'm lagging or something. Ah! Ah, give me flash charges! Guys, I haven't played PoE in like a month. I forgot how to play PoE. I'm stunlocked! Get me out of here! Yeah, well, Tornado Shot gets a free helmet chant. That was, yeah, that was hella good. Bow build, dude. Bow league again. Sad. Why can't I click on this? Dude. This is not going well here. Reload already. Click. Click. Thank you. Shattering is dead. I mean, it was already dead. Like, nobody played Shattering Steel. Because ever since they added the reload mechanic to it, it's felt like complete ass. Okay, I don't want to die here again. Because Shattering Steel, you have to reload, like, every, like, six attacks or something. Which, once you get any decent attack speed, it's like every second. You have to reload it, like, every second. Which just feels like shit. So it's like... When you gameplay, your gameplay feels like Shattering Steel, Shattering Steel, Reload. Shattering Steel, Shattering Steel, Reload. Shattering Steel, Shattering Steel, Reload. And like that cycle is not fun. Okay, Ancestral Protector. Uh, which is right there. And Steel Skin. And then we can check one more time for Lynx. Uh, let's buy... Wait, this one. We'll buy that one. Red, green, green. That's good. Uh, I think we're just done. Yeah. We'll dump all this shit. We'll dump this shit right here. Dump this too and this too. And we're done. How long did that take? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Not that bad. Alright, now we make the boy. Fasty Frostblade's dead meme boy. Alright, now we play the actual character. Running Splitting Steel with a different Steel skill in a random slot will give Call of Steel. I don't know. So I don't think Splitting Steel really needs Call of Steel, though, because Call of Steel is for, like, AoE clear, but Splitting Steel already had pretty good AoE clear. 
That was more for Lancing Steel to help with clear. If you wanted to use Lancing Steel for clear, I feel like. I don't know. I think Splitting Steel's clear will be fine without Call of Steel. You're going to go Spectral Throw until you get plus one strike. Yeah, that's definitely a viable option. That is definitely a choice that you can make. You can, honestly guys, you can do whatever the hell you want while you're leveling. Especially like the first, like, two acts. It, like, it's totally irrelevant what you do anyway. It's pretty much irrelevant. Alright, let's grab all this shit. And let's put those on. And we're gonna go for, I'm going Frost Blades from level one. Frost Blades. And can we use this? Yeah, we'll just use this two-handed sword right away for now. And with Ruthless. And then I don't really want to put that on yet. And then we're going to put that on. We'll put that there. We'll stash some of this other stuff. Put the Mana Flask on. We'll put that on when we get it. Don't need that. And then I can Vendor all the rest of the shit. Alright, go, go, go. <clears throat> Not picking up chromes? And wisdoms? What do you mean? I thought I did. What is this layout? Let me go this way. You're gonna level with splitting steel? Splitting steel's good. For sure. I just like to use the skill that I'm going to play. And, uh, it ain't bad. I can't hear my game sound like at all. Oh, look at that! Rare boots! Oh! Oh! Look! I'm getting spoon fed! Look at all this currency! Yeah, what are the boots? 10% movement speed? Oh my god! Life res movement speed! Holy shit, log in, dude! Spooned! Spooned! Yo, those are like Act 4 boots, dude. I'm gonna have those until Act 4, dude. <laughs> Maybe. Dun, 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 dun. 1440p is nutty, man. The game looks like so clear it, and smooth now. Like it's crazy to me. I'm like having to adjust to it because it looks it's so different than what it looked like before, to me. Oh my god, a chance orb! I'm a uh, a chance orb. Uh, eat your heart out. I'm exile. Just L2 drop chance orbs, dude. Streamer client enabled. Better Twitch TV. There's all kinds of Twitch TV extensions and shit that I don't have. I'll add them over time. We're ramping, guys. We, we're ramping the stream quality up uh, one day at a time. One day at a time, guys. Look at that. 12-minute mud flats, guys. 12-minute <laughs> mud flats. Okay, now we can go get Frost Bomb and Frost Blink. And see if we can put them somewhere. Uh, frost bomb. And wait, does he give us something? What's he give us again? This is nothing. And then this is nothing. And then frost blink here. Uh, any helmet? We need some blue sockets here. One blue socket. Man, I'd really like to have two blue sockets here. I guess I'm going to have to settle for one blue socket. I'm going to have to settle for the one blue socket, I guess. Which is going to be for Frost Blink for now. What ascendancy combinations are you hyped for to use? I don't know because we don't know what 
they're going to look like. Like, which ones are going to be on there, on the charms. So without knowing that, I can't really say. And like, what are the restrictions also? Because like, I've heard that, uh, I've heard that you can only get them for like, your attribute or something. So like, Shadow can only get like, Dex and Int ascendancies. So can like, Shadow only get the ones from like, Witch and Ranger? Or like, I don't know how all that shit works. So I can't really say just yet. think that's how it works um i don't know i'd have to look i'd have to like look at what the options are and uh <clears throat> think about it i don't need those i just picked up those op boots I was watching one of those top five league start builds recommendations and your build was on the list. Oh, really? That's cool. That just kind of surprises me considering, uh, <laughs> considering the patch notes. But uh, that's cool. Okay, let's go... Let's just go back now and do the submerged passage before we forget and lose our portal. Not having frost bomb for this is gonna suck. You can equip any of them, but the base type of the charm is strength, dex, or int. Base type. This is a, this is a dead end. God damn it. Let me in, goddammit. Talkative tree. It's that guy who does all those like prediction videos of like about like what's GGG gonna do and like what what's GGG done in the past? And like, what's GGG's philosophy on this? Dweller of the Deep with no Frost Bomb. I should have made more effort to get another blue socket. Ooh, look at that. Maybe that sword's going to be OP. You can equip any type of the charm. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. Uh, okay, hopefully this sword is OP, dude. Lots of damage. Oh, it's got good damage on it. Can't use it yet. Can't use it yet, though. Can't use it just yet. Uh, don't need that or that. I do want that on, though. And we'll put that there. Got our three link with ancestral call for clear speed. Uh, I don't need. I do need that. I need a blue socket. I can put this on at level eight. Two more levels and I can start using that. Let's go ahead and throw these skill points in. I think we're gonna come. Yeah, we come here. Put the steel skin there. You guys don't have to use frost blades from level one, by the way. Okay. I just like to because I don't like to change the build. 
I like to just pick the skill and just go. And if it's a little bit slower, then uh, I kind of think that the time that you spend changing your build and like respecking and doing all that will just be the time that it is to, you know, the slower time that you would have had anyway if you just used the skill to begin with. So, plus I just think Frostblaze is pretty good for leveling actually, because the chill, the chill is very strong. But, like I said, it's optional. You don't have to use it. You don't even have to use claws, really, if you don't want to. You can use whatever. Ooh, transmute. One more level and I can get big damage. Plus, Ancestral Call, or just like additional strike in general, the quality of life from that is so good, man. Not having to aim, not having to like click on monsters, just like click wherever you want and the uh, Ancestral Call just zoop, hits whatever, like, it's so good, man. That's why I think the Duelist Mule is worth it, because Ancestral Call, like, look at this, you don't have to aim. You don't have to aim. You can be wherever you want, you can click wherever you want, and you're going to hit everything. Chromat, okay, I picked up the Chromat gun. That time I picked up the Chromatic Orb, guys. Eight minute Brutus incoming. I'm going to buy some iron rings. I'm going to go back and get iron rings, hopefully. And that's going to make Brutus melt like butter. In fact, let's go look right now. <coughs> so Frostblades is saved. Too long TLDR version. The TLDR version is the build lost about 40% of his damage. <laughs> the TLDR is you're going to have about 40% less damage. So, uh, yeah. What am I looking for again? Oh, yeah, iron rings. Uh, and she doesn't have any. She doesn't freaking have a single iron ring. Are you kidding me? I probably do want one of these, though. 30. Let's take that one. Uh, can I get the totem? Or wait, what did I do with the totem? I grabbed the totem, didn't I? Yeah, it's right there. There we go. That's what we wanted. Alright, now we go. Has your build changed much? No, it hasn't changed at all. It just got it got about 40% weaker. <laughs> it got about 40% weaker. That's the only thing that changed. And uh, we'll see how much we can make up from that from the transfigured gems and from the new ascendancies. But we also lost tattoos, uh, so... Yeah, the build is just going to be weaker, guys. There's there's really no sugarcoating it. There's no getting around it. The build is going to be weaker. But it was very, very strong. So if you take a build that was very, very strong... Yeah, not during leveling. Good point. During leveling, it's going to be exactly the same. It's not going to be weaker during leveling. I'm talking end game. The end game is going to be weaker. But when you have a build that is very, very strong... Making it a little bit weaker is like, yeah, it sucks, but the build's still going to be playable, and it's still going to be fine, you know? So whatever. If you... Guys, I have never claimed that Frostblades is the best build, or the, even the, a good League starter. In fact, I'm pretty sure in my League start video from last League, I put up a disclaimer, and I said it's not the best League starter. I'm pretty sure I did that, and that hasn't changed, so... If you are looking for, like, the best league starter that's going to be so OP and, like, you know, you're going to kill the Void Stones on day one with with nothing but rare gear, like, this ain't it, man. I, it's never been it. It ain't it now. It wasn't it last league. Go, go play EA Totems or some bullshit if that's what you want. I play Frostblades because it's fun, not because... Ow! Not because it's the, the most OP or the best build. Let's kill this rare guy since we're already halfway halfway killed him. Let's, let's pick that claw up. Start a ranger, take burning arrow and mirror arrow. Just go ranger, yeah. You could. It's the best league start I've ever played. 
mean, yeah, I, I'm not saying it's bad. It's not a bad league starter, but it's not the best, like, most efficient, right? Like, it seems like there's so many people in the community, in the PoE community, that, like, they, they're they so addicted to, like, min-maxing that they have to pick, like, the best, the most min-maxed league starter ever. You know, like, the perfect build that's going to be so optimized with no gear. And at level 81, you'll be able to kill Shaper. And, uh, and you know, it's like, that ain't me, dude. That That's never been me. I don't care, man. I ain't racing nobody. Let's kill this. Oh, Hatred Essence. Holy shit. I need to go check for uh, Iron Rings one more time because I'm pretty sure I leveled up, right? <laughs> Proof that I said it's the best league starter. Don't bring the goddamn clips out. Don't bring out the goddamn clips. All right, what am I forgetting for Brutus? I got Frost Bomb, Frost Blink, Totem. That's really all you need, I think. Now I just need, like, if I could get an Iron Ring, that'd be amazing. Or two Iron Rings. This weapon's pretty good. This weapon has some decent damage on it. I'm going to go see if like, she has Iron Rings. Last rate is Cope. Yeah, last rate didn't seem like it got changed enough to make any difference. Uh, let's get faster attacks too, I think. And then um, there's nothing else we need there though. And then, oh yeah, Iron Rings. Iron Rings, did she have them? Nope, she doesn't have them. She doesn't have any Iron Rings. God damn it. I'll just buy one of these, I guess. Should I just use this on this? Or should I save it? Mm, getting stun locked. Uh, I think I'll use it on that. It's probably not going to give me any damage, though. I just want damage right now. I need iron rings, but she didn't have them, so that's unfortunate. So now we get to fight Brutus. Let's time the Brutus kill. Everybody time it. Where's the timer at? 2540. Shit, I clicked on the lore thing. Oh, I have Ancestral Protector on. Or, I mean, uh, Ancestral Call on, too. Two Link, by the way. Two Link Gaming. Now I, I panic spammed all my flasks, so now I have to go get my flask back. He's half dead already, though. Look, he's half dead. It's only been like 30 seconds, and he's half dead. You see? So I keep letting it hit me and shit, and that's wasting my flash charges, and then uh, now I'm running out of mana. Just keep your totem down, and then just keep frost bombing, and uh, frost bombing and frost blinking. And look at that, he's already almost dead. See, this isn't that slow, guys. Look at that. That was easy, dude. That was easy. That wasn't slow. 2640, that was one minute. Like I said, one minute. Remember yesterday I said one minute. Let's log out. 110, yeah. Weapon carried? I didn't have I don't have no iron rings. If I had iron rings, that would have been way easier. What's this sword? Oh shit, look at this sword. That's is that uh is that way bigger damage? Probably. I think we're gonna stick with the sword. It's got no sockets though. I need sockets, man. Uh whirling blades? Sure. I need blue sockets. Does he have a new helmet? This one has two blue sockets. That'll do. Put on this new helmet, get rid of that blue socket, and then I think we put that sword on. It's probably more damage, right? 57 versus 71. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was more damage. Cold lightning. Fire cold fizz attack speed. 
How is that not more damage? I need better flasks too. Let's put this gem back on. How does this compare to Lightning Arrow overall? Lightning Arrow is probably the most OP build in the game right now, dude. So, uh, yeah. If you like bow builds and you like Lightning Arrow, then play Lightning Arrow because Lightning Arrow is insanely strong right now and they buffed it even stronger. So, I mean... People ask me this often, like, what what about Lightning Arrow? How does Frost Blades compare to Lightning Arrow? It's like, well, what do you mean how does it compare to Lightning Arrow? It's a, One's a melee build, melee strike build. The other one's a bow build. They're completely different ascendancies. They're completely different archetypes entirely. So it's like, wh how am I supposed to even answer that? Like, Lightning Arrow is insanely strong. It didn't get nerfed. It was already strong. It's even stronger now. If you like bow builds, then play Lightning Arrow. <laughs> What can I say? All right, we need to find a um, green, green, red link. That's what we need now. Let's put added cold on our totem. Mana flask. Oh, a rare claw. Nice. What's the rare claw? Oh, it has lots of damage on it. What's the shrine? Crit shrine. Frostblade is better than EA Champ. Tornado Shot and Venom Gyre. Maybe, yeah. It all depends. It depends on what you want, right? Like, it all depends on your expectations from a League starter. Everyone has their own expectations from what, what a League starter should do for them. Some people just want a League starter to get them to maps, and, like, that's it. And they don't give a shit what else it does, because then all they're going to do is farm white maps until they have money to switch to their second build, right? Some people want their League starter to be the only build they play the entire League. So they need it to be, like extremely scalable easily you know and like fast enough to farm currency with so that they can you know make money to juice it so it all just completely depends on what you want this cave sucks get me out of this cave dude God damn it, man. That guy freezes forever. They buff lightning arrow. Why did they do that? Yeah, good question, dude. <laughs> that's a that's a really good question. Why did they do that? Lightning Arrow was already, like, the strongest build in the whole damn game. At least from, like, a... You know, everything up to, like, farming uber bosses, I guess. So, yeah, good question. Why did they, why did they buff it? Uh, this shit is all nothing. What's this? Alright, does she have any rings now? Oh, now she's got three goddamn iron rings. Now she wants to sell three goddamn iron rings. Okay, Mervale. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use my at my ace my essence on this. And then no heavy belt either. Damn. Well I don't really need it now. Let's just take the 
leather belt. What's this claw? Six to seventeen. It's a pretty good claw. We can probably switch to that pretty soon. Let's go ahead and sell this other sword. Oh yeah, we need to check for green, green, red links. Uh, nope. Let's put these points in. We're going to put these points here, and then we're going to go here. I'm going to go back and do Fairgraves. I would have gone to the other waypoint, but I didn't grab it. I didn't find it, so now we have to go the other way. There he is. The only bow build I played was deck stacking ballistas. Yeah, that's... Is that a bow build? I mean, it's kind of a bow build, but not really. That's more of a totem build th than a bow build. I don't know if I'd call that a bow build. Can Frostblade skip stages of bosses? How much DPS do you need? Uh, depends on what bosses you're talking about. Depends on what stages you're, you're talking about. We leveled up, so let's check again. Almost. Not linked, though. Alright, let's go. Lightning Condos new quality is 20% more damage. What they change? I don't remember. I don't even remember reading Lightning Conduit in the patch notes. Now provides more damage per 5% shock. What? Really? That's ridiculous. 4% more damage per 5% shock? <laughs> That's broken as shit. This skill already has that, but it's 20%. I haven't played Lightning Conduit since the league it came out, which was like... Was it Lake of Calandra League, I think? That Lightning Conduit came out? I don't have any portal scrolls. I was going to say I should probably craft on a cold resist somewhere. But I have got 51 cold res, so I think that's enough. I should have added cold on by now, too. But I never found a green, green, red. So we're stuck with this. Never got better life flasks, either. I should have better life flasks. Fuck, this is unfortunate. No portal scrolls. That's what I need right now. I need to let her kill me is what I need to do now. The most efficient thing is to let her kill me.
This is the hardest fight in the game, guys. This is the hardest fight in the entire campaign, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. This is, uh, this is unironically the hardest fight in the entire campaign. If you can get past this, it's easy street, dude. It only gets easier after this. There we go, we did it. Is it worth using Blade Trap? If you want to. I mean, I don't know. I can't be bothered. I just cannot be bothered, man. I'm not a min-max, you know, efficiency Andy. I need freaking Wisdom Scrolls, man. Uh, I guess I'll keep that. Green, green, red, please. Nope. Damn it. I was at so like 37 minutes or 38 minutes. Minus the mule was 7 minutes. So that's like 30 minutes. Act 1. I mean, on a league start, that's totally fine, dude. 30 minutes per act on a league start is totally fine. That's 5 hours. That's 5 hours to maps. 30 minutes per act. <clears throat> if you get to maps in 5 hours, or even, shit, even 6 hours, dude. If you get to maps in 6 hours, you're chilling. In my opinion. Crossblade's better than Conduit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It depends on what... It depends. It's so hard to use the word best in PoE. Because that could mean so many different things. You know? Like, best at what? You know? Best what? Oh, I never went, I never got my second Quicksilver Flask. I need to go back and do Tidal Island. Let's do that right now. I should have had that, that whole this whole time. See, this is why you practice, guys. When you practice, you, you notice mistakes like this that you can fix on the actual League Start. We're doing it right now. For me, everything is nerfed. Every build lost damage just by removing the enchants. Yeah, I mean, losing the enchants and losing tattoos is pretty significant. But we have to see what we're going to get back. We don't know yet what we're going to get back instead. The charms and the tinctures seem pretty good. And the transfigured gems, some of them are going to be pretty good too. Start at the same time you just beat Brutus. No, that's alright, man. It's all good. I need a race. I need a race. <clears throat> that's why you practice, man. Because next time you'll be faster. Next time you do it, you'll be faster. And then the next time after that, you'll be even faster. And every time, you'll just get quicker and quicker. Until you sort of... Uh, plateau... You know, or peak. And even then, you'll still like get better because you'll remember to do stuff. Why is his inventory not updating? I feel like he's had the same shit. Uh, okay, let's go to Chamber of Sins. We're about to get Blood Rage and um, Herald of Ice pretty soon. I'm going to probably just go from a 2-link to a 4-link, because I'm still on a 2-link, basically. Get my additional strike, I can drop Ancestral Call, and then uh, I need a green, green, red to put on added cold. I can't get one, though. Can't seem to get one. Love your build. Thanks, Malagos. What's going on, man? Ooh, an Essence. Let's kill that Essence. A 
another hatred essence. Does this guy have AoE Trail of Lightning? Most enchants are default qualities. Some of them are, yeah. A lot of them. Remember how many SSF labs you did for the pen enchant? Yeah, that was fucking torture. Yeah, I'll never forget that. I will never forget that. <laughs> oh, but the good news is you never have to do that again, guys. You never have to do lab again trying to find a fucking penetration boot enchant. Oh, thank God. Thank God. You never have to do that again. I spent six hours running lab trying to get the penetration boot enchant. And like about a third of that time was doing gifts of the goddess too. And I still didn't get it. Even running gifts of the goddess. That was so freaking annoying. I need a better life flask. Can I get a life flask, please? Lab runs were terrible. Six hours, disparage. Is, is guy worth killing? No, he's hella tanky. I ain't killing that guy. He always overpaid because you hate lab. Yeah. I don't like overpaying. I'm too cheap. I don't like overpaying out of principle. Is this a dead end? Yep, damn it. Fusing orb. Two labs a hundred more times just to quality everything. Nah, GCP still exists. Hopefully we don't have to do that. And hopefully we can get the transfigured gems that we want. And there's not like two choices and like one of them's good, but the the shitty one is like the only one you ever get from lab and you have to run lab over and over again to get the good one. That'd be annoying. I could have had additional strike by now, but I didn't put the skill point in. When bingo. <clears throat> Alright, Blood Rage. Let's go ahead and vendor some of this shit. that too and sell it for the shards come to her wait get uh, Harold <coughs> Harold of ice and then a flask greater life flask oh I had one in my inventory I'm so stupid I had one in my inventory the whole time whoops All right, now I really need uh, the correct sockets. Green, green, red. There we go. Anything else? Is that my only option? That one's green, green, red too. Cold resist. Let's just take this one. Oh, we lost int. That had int on it? Ah, oh, you gotta be shitting me. Okay, we'll just go craft it, I think.
Int. There. Bam. And now we put Ruthless there, and we get rid of Ancestral Call, and we put Frost Blades there, and then we put Added Cold on it. Now we have a three link, and we have our additional strike right here. And then now we can start coming up here to get the leech. And then after the leech, I'll get the penetration probably. And then now we need green green for whirling blades. Eventually, once we get a claw, faster attacks can go on the totem, I guess. And blood rage. Actually, let's put Blood Rage on instead. We need another, we need another Green Socket for Herald of Ice, too. Alright, go, go, go. Back to here. Lab running would be more profitable? It could be, yeah. It very well could be. Seems like there was a lot of good shit on those Divine Fonts. Can you tell me your PC build? 180 FPS. Um, I got a new graphics card just today, actually. Just like five hours ago, I installed my brand new graphics card. I have a 6750 XT, which is a slight step up from the 3060 Ti that I had before. So that's my graphics card, and then my CPU is a 5800 XT, Ryzen 7 5800 X3D, and I got that uh, yesterday. Yep, am I going the wrong way? I was following that road, wasn't I? Is this road going back to the start? No, it's not. <coughs> Nothing changes until you get Heat Shiver. Yep, that's exactly right. Heat Shiver was the only thing that got changed. Oh shit, I forgot to turn Blood Rage on. I have Blood Rage now. Blood Rage means Frenzy Charges, which means more damage. Attack speed too. Oh my god! Give me the thing! Give me the thing! Oh, I got it, didn't I? Okay, good. I have to go down here and get the... No, not here. I have to go here and go down and get the lab. Thirty sixty streaming GPU? No, I don't have a streaming PC, man. <laughs> I, I don't have two PCs. Uh, I'm doing everything on one. One PC. I'm gonna give the thirty sixty Ti to my dad. Streaming PC is uh that's a bit much. That's a bit much for my needs, I think. Portal scroll OP. Gotta do the trial. Can't skip the trials. I think I already have them done because I didn't. I didn't migrate, uh, but I'm doing them anyway. Maybe I don't actually have them done. I don't even remember. Grab your flask. Give me that. Another flask. Uh, where is that? Up here? Yeah, it's up here.
You think they buff Lightning Arrow, Tornado Shot, and Bone? Because they're making MTX? Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, that's done. We can log out now. Wait, I need to go to him and we can vendor that and that. We need some more green sockets now. What do we need them on? Probably gloves. He only has one pair of gloves? What? Alright. Well, I guess uh, we're just not gonna we're not gonna put Harold Device on yet. Coral! Coral amulet! Coral! Did you guys watch Walking Dead? Coral! Walking Dead was so bad, dude. Got so stupid. Click on the shrine, thank you. Coral! Oh, cat's paw. Let's pick that up. Worst couple. I watched the first couple seasons. It got rough. Yeah, I think I watched five, and then I gave up. Oh, Jesus! Corpse explosions destroyed my ass. I lost the road. Which way was it? It was up, right? Uh, maybe not. Oh, a Vol Orb. Wow. I don't think I have any use for that right now. Might for that, though. Is that a fractured item? Holy shit, what? <clears throat> Negan scene with Glenn is disturbing? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It was definitely bad. Doesn't she, like, go on to, like... There's, like, a whole new spin-off series with, like, those two, right? Like, the girl? The girl and, and uh, Negan? Like, how are you supposed to believe that? That, like... He, like, bashed his brains out, but then she just, like, gets over it, and then... Or, like, what's the deal with that spin-off series? Alright, we're looking for Weaver up here. Glenn got eaten in the alley. I don't remember that. I I remember like almost nothing from Walking Dead other than it was it got fucking bad. That's like the only thing I remember is the the farm season when the little zombie girl was like trapped in the barn or whatever and they were like trying to find her and then Shane uh, like let them all out and they all they fucking smoked them all. That that was like the only thing I remember from Walking Dead. I remember like almost nothing else from it. 
I didn't even watch the season that Negan killed Glenn in. I quit watching like before that, but I I did see like the clip of it. The Daryl one wasn't bad. You got bored and watched it. Yeah, Daryl was a good character, kind of, but I don't know. He, he wasn't that interesting. Everyone seems to like love Daryl, but like his character is not that interesting. He's just like a he's just like a guy that doesn't talk very much and like carries a crossbow around or whatever. It's like, is he? What's so great about this character? You know, why does this character deserve its own spinoff? I don't know. Where am I going? Jesus Christ, I'm going completely the wrong way. I need to pay more attention. Yeah, Shane was the best character. John Bernthal is such an awesome actor, dude. He He's really good. Just, like, whatever he's in, he just carries the role, like, in everything. Like, in The Punisher, in, um... Um... What the hell else is he in? I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but I, I just know there's several things I've seen him in where he's really, really good. I can't think of what he's in. Fury, yep, he was great in Fury. What else? There's one thing I'm thinking of that I remember him, but I, man, I can't put my finger on what it was. Shane did nothing wrong? Yeah, true, dude. Actually true. Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another good one. Mm. I'm not going to use that at this point. time for green. I need gloves with green sockets on them. Like those ones. Whatever, those ones will work. Let's take those ones. What level, what level are they? 23? Jesus, level 23? Why are they so high? Yeah, Tom Hardy, I agree. He's also, he's another one that's excellent. Tom Hardy and John Bernthal are two guys that they're so charismatic and like so like commanding their presence is like so commanding on the screen that whatever they're in they just they freaking are so good Tom Hardy is awesome speaking of Tom Hardy he he was in uh, Mad Max and did you guys see the trailer for the new Mad Max movie the Furiosa Mad Max movie I just saw the trailer for that earlier. It looks pretty freaking awesome, dude. Mad Max Fury Road was freaking sick, dude. That, like, art style and, like, that, uh, like, cinematography that... What's the guy's name? George Miller? His movies are so cool, man.
God, Oak is so annoying. Yeah, Legends with the Twins was really good. I remember that movie. I saw that movie. Wow, that's got a lot of damage on it. Holy shit. Can't use it, though. Is Cat's Paw my best claw base? I think it is, right? Let's blast the Essence see what we get. We got nothing. Fuck. Well, I guess we're not switching yet. I guess we're not switching yet. I want to switch to Claw, but I need something better than what I have. Exclamation mark POB. Build video coming soon. Nice. What's up, Ghost? We're doing a practice run. Funsies. How am I doing on XP? Level 20, 20 zone, keep it up. I hate this goddamn zone. And we own this city. I haven't seen that. No, I've I've heard of it though, but I haven't ever watched it. Is that about like Baltimore? Baltimore uh, cops or something? Shot caller. Is that the is that the movie about the prisons? The prison guy who uh, the guy from Game of Thrones, Jamie Lannister, plays the main character in that movie. John Bernthal's in that movie? Wait, John Bernthal is in Shot Caller? I saw that movie, but I don't remember John Bernthal being in it. Maybe I'm misremembering. Forgot Alira? Oh yeah, you're right, I did forget Alira. I would have figured that out as soon as I get through this shit zone. The game would have reminded me, because I wouldn't have been able to get through this cave. I lose anoint if I use an ancient orb. Um, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. This is the wrong way. Lyra is up top. All right, we got the leech. Let's go for the pen now. Should have kept going over here. I thought the entrance would be like back over this way more.
Oh, nice. An alchemy orb. That's big. Peace out. I'm going to go do something else before I get burnt out. All right, man. Catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, oh, shit. I'm out of uh, wisdom scrolls. Let's vendor these, I guess. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. This thing has huge damage. We have to figure out a way to work that in now. We lost more sockets, though. God damn it. I need new boots now, too, or something. Um. Maybe I can chrome it. Maybe I can chrome. Should I chrome something? Not those. Armor, armor, armor. Shit. Let's chrome the sword. Nice! Two green sockets. Perfect. Blood Rage. Um, Where'd my Herald Device go? Did I stash it? Herald Device. Ancestral Protector. Uh, um, I guess I didn't really need that Whirling Blades in all that time either, did I? If I learned which NPCs I, you actually have to speak to in town while leveling, I could probably shave like 20 minutes off of my campaign time. But I like, I just compulsively like talk to every single NPC in town that has an exclamation mark above their head. Matrix, Big Lebowski, Monty Python. What are those your favorite movies, or what? What do you mean? What are those movies? Inception, Limitless, Legend, Snatch, Shawshank. Are we talking about best movies again? Guys, what's the best what's the best work what's the best work ever put on film, guys? I've said it before on the stream. What is the best work of film ever created? Who knows the answer? There's only one right answer. Snatch is good, yeah. Gladiator? That's close. That's close. But no, not Gladiator. Alright, we got the penetration. The Simpsons. <laughs> My kids were just watching that earlier tonight, the Simpsons movie. No, the best best thing ever put on film is Band of Brothers. No question about it. Nothing even comes close to Band of Brothers. If you have not seen Band of Brothers, you are doing yourself a massive disservice. Holy shit. I just got destroyed. Hey, I gotta put Harold Weiss on too. What is with this bridge right here? Look how long this bridge is. What the hell? Dark Knight is so good. Yeah, it is. Death count? I don't know, like four or something. Freaking beasts, man. Beasts on top of that thing, on top of these things. Hasted. Saving Private Ryan's a good one too, for sure. Death Count Heath Ledger <laughs> or me? Ay ay ay. Ooh, I need to put some crafts on. I forgot to put crafts on all this shit. I need to fix my resists, so I stop getting annihilated. We'll do that later. We'll do that before we get to Gravisius.
Now, why are these gloves level 23? What the hell? Oh, a heavy belt. I needed that about uh, forever ago. Probably still use it. Jumper? Never saw that movie. That's uh, Bruce Willis, right? With that Anakin Skywalker kid. I guess he's not really a kid. He's like older than me, I think. Event Horizon. Now that's a good movie. I watched that like a month ago. Event Horizon is a f freaking crazy movie, dude. If you guys have ever seen Event Horizon, you should go watch it. That movie's crazy. It's about a spaceship that like has a portal to hell opened up in it, and it, it's it's crazy, man. See if we can get this level before we get to the boss here. American History X, that's a good movie. Really good movie. Edward Norton is another really good actor. I really like Edward Norton. He's been good in every single thing I've seen him in. Take that mastery and then hmm. Come find this attack speed down here, I think. I think we get this next. Why does this I thought they increased the speed of this boss spawning. It still feels like it takes forever. The Hulk was the best. Best Hulk movie? It was pretty good. It was pretty decent, I guess. It was better than the other one, at least. Although it had Liv Tyler in it, and I don't really like Liv Tyler. I feel like Liv Tyler is just like always whispering. She she doesn't know how to speak normally. She she always she always talks like this. Every single Liv Tyler, she's just whispering all the time. It's like, don't you have a voice? Don't you have a normal voice? What the hell's wrong with you? Why are you always whispering like this? Rares! All right, there we go. Act two done. Where are we at? One eighteen. That's uh, we slowed down a little bit. We gotta, we gotta speed up. The pace is gonna start picking up. Ooh, a two stone ring. Another one. The pace is gonna start picking up real quick here, though. Soon, really soon. You make up time in the second half of the campaign for sure. First two acts are the hardest by far. By far. Pick that up somehow. How do I pick that up? Ah, no, go there. Now I can pick it up. Oh, shit. 
I didn't mean to log out there. God damn it. I pressed the wrong button. Fuck. I just lost a minute. I just... Minus one minute. I just logged out on accident before I made it to the town. Maybe not one minute. 30 seconds. Minus 30 seconds. Why does it get easier? Because your damage just gets way better. And you get faster, too, because you get whirling blades online. You get lots of attack speed. And uh, you just you start moving around quick. Your damage gets really good. It just it just scales. It starts scaling really better. A lot better. All right, now I can log out. I need to empty my inventory. Fifty forty three. No, no shot. We're just gonna keep using what we got for now. Well, I should have. I should have entered those two. Mayor of Kingstown. I. Everyone that I've heard of uh, have seen that says it's really good, but I don't have Paramount Plus, so I haven't seen Mayor of Kingstown. Oh my God, the burning. Get away from me. I used to really not like Jeremy Renner, but now I, uh, I've i gotten over my hatred of Jeremy Renner. So I would watch that show if I had it. Band of Brothers, Game of Thrones. Oh, man. You had to bring up Game of Thrones, didn't you? You had to bring up Game of Thrones. Did you guys see my shirt? Look at my shirt. You had to bring up Game of Thrones. Why'd you do that? Look. See my shirt? Can you read it? It says, hold the door. Hold the door. Hold, hold door. Hold, hold door. You guys read it? Hold door. Hold door. shirt's kind of faded. I've had this shirt for a long time. It's hard to read now. Altered Carbon? That show was pretty cool. I didn't watch much of it, but what I did see was pretty cool. Vikings? Yeah, Vikings was good too. I didn't watch all of that either though. Alright, we probably have to go back and do some lab trials. We missed probably like three or maybe two lab trials, I think. Okay, Piety is going to destroy my ass because I don't have any lighting res. I need to go do some crafts. Is there a lab there? No. Travis Fimmel? Yeah, he just hasn't really been in that much shit, I think. He's in like Sons of Anarchy and then uh, what else? He was in that Triple Frontier movie on Netflix with Ben Affleck. That was a pretty good flick. Chromatic Orb. You guys see that movie Triple Frontier? That's a good flick. South Park is great. Oh yeah, South Park is is the goat, dude. Did you guys see that Panderverse episode? Into the Panderverse or whatever? Oh my god, those guys are fucking geniuses, man. Trey Parker and Matt Stone are are geniuses. Second three, second season of House of the Dragon. Oh yeah, I'll be watching that for sure. I will be watching that. The first season was excellent. Okay, I'm gonna go do some crafts because I'm gonna get destroyed here if I try to fight Piety with zero lighting resist. <coughs> and I can also, I don't have Lily in my hideout yet. Sell this shit. I'm gonna need those green gems still. 
Uh, let's see. What can I put on this? A suffix? I don't have attack speed craft yet, though. This, uh, let's just do lightning res on, like, everything. Everything that we can. And then, I should probably put these two stone rings on, huh? Alright, we're capped on lightning res. Now we need fire and cold res. I ran out of transmutes, though. I need to start picking up more blue shit. Alright, that's good enough for now. Let's go. My shadow continues to nip at my heel. Bag it and tag it, boys and girls. Oh shit, I never put my Herald device back on after I died. Enough of this. Do, 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 do. Travis Fitmel, that's not the same guy. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Who's Travis Fitmel then? I must be I'm thinking of the other guy. I thought that was him, but now I don't remember who that other guy is. Alright, let's grab Wrath, because that's what we're going to be using. And then, now we have to run back out to the sewers. We still have a 100% chance to hit, but pretty soon it's going to start dropping. Uh, so we're going to grab the accuracy wheel for the speed also, so that we don't have to worry about it. What am I missing? Yeah. Put a chicken in it and make her fucking gay! <laughs> oh my god, Disney. What are you doing, Disney? What are you doing? Bones? Travis. Oh, that's the Vikings guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, he does kind of look like the uh, Sons of Anarchy guy. Oh, look at that. That's almost a four link. That's almost a four link item. We're going to have a four link pretty soon. We're going to start popping off as soon as we get Wrath on. We get Wrath on and we craft lightning damage on some shit. And then uh, put Trinity on with our four link, we're going to start absolutely annihilating. We'll switch to claw, we'll get whirling blades on, and then we'll be zooming. No blue, yeah, true, no blue, but another four socket item. The four links are going to start dropping now. In Act 3, you start getting four links. Like, they're pretty common in Act 3. If you farm docks a couple times, you, you usually get the four link. Oh, Raised by Wolves. Yeah, I watched that show. That show was crazy. The first season, at least. I don't even know if a second season came out. <coughs> Not enough happened in that first season, though. Something, Some more stuff needed to happen in that first season of that show but the premise of that show is so good it's so interesting like we people send human embryos to a freaking another planet with androids to like raise them to like repopulate the human species it's like such a cool idea for a show okay there's a trial right here but let's go dump our inventory first NB Extreme are all from the same <laughs> village okay MB Extreme does kind of look like that guy, actually. Alright, we can dump those ones now. Mm. We should probably keep that, too, just in case we need the socket. Let's move a dump tab up, and we'll start throwing some shit in it.
All right, and then back out. Oh, that vault pass reward. Been searching everywhere. What's the ascendancy order? One step ahead first. Heart stopper last. The other two don't really matter. Swift killer and polymath, you can take whichever one you want. Then look at that, four link. Uh, this is usable too. That's usable. I can put uh, elemental damage with attacks on that thing. Nice, dude. We're about to we're about to be zooming. We're rapping. Lab trial. Where are you? Please be over here. I don't think it is though. This is like a little mini boss or some shit. Look at all these rares though. We're four link gaming already. Or we're gonna be in a couple minutes once I get it set up. Pure deck space too. It's got a lot of dexterity on it for uh, Act Three base. It's a nice base. Okay, where the fuck do I need to go? Up here? God damn it. I hate getting lost in these zones. See, I'm not the fastest leveler, guys. If you were a if you were a really good leveler, you could do this so much faster than I'm doing it. Oh, oh shit. You take one step ahead third. Oh, I like having the chill and freeze immunity. Because you get chilled a lot in the campaign. And not having to worry about it is nice. <clears throat> um, let's see. What do I need here? That's just wrath. Oh, I need a curse too. I need, like, uh, Ellie Weakness. Because we're not going crit yet. Where is it? There it is. Ellie Weakness. You use Ellie Weakness until you switch to crit, and then you switch to Assassin's Mark. I need Elemental Damage with Attacks. Let's see if I can put this on right now. There it is. I think I can. I'm going to craft Int on it, though. Do I have the materials to craft the Int? Int. Look at that. I should have just alked that. Damn it, I should have just alked that. Wait, what was the material? Oh, it's a, I need a scouring orb now. It's too late. Fuck. Um, I should alk something else. I should alk this ring or something. Or should I alk a claw? I should probably alk a claw because I want to switch to claws real soon. Look all this time I'm wasting. I'm wasting like a solid minute here. Just like running around. Let's look for a claw base to Alk. Blinder. Yep, this is the next one. Uh, yeah, we'll Alk that one. We don't have an essence, right? No. Let's Alk this and hope we get big damage. Fizz and a baby amount of fire with an open prefix. Okay, that's probably usable actually. Because we can craft lightning damage on it. And then it'll, it'll proc Trinity. Once we get it on. Alright, let's let's keep going. Okay, so we got our four link online. And now we're looking for um Aura's not on. We're looking for a four link with a blue socket. So that we can put Trinity into it. And then we're gonna craft lightning damage on this claw. We're gonna get a little bit more int so we can use this claw. And then we're going to get another probably pair of gloves with a blue socket on so we can put Wrath on and Ellie Weakness on. And then we're going to switch to Trinity and we're going to be freaking zooming. Can Frostblades delve? Not deep, no. It, it can do like standard, you know, delve. Oh, I took my ring off. Oh, you're right. Why did I do that? 
I was going to alk it, but then I didn't. It can go standard delve, you know, like 300 delve, 300, maybe 300 to 500. But anything below like 500, you're going to start getting annihilated, and I would not recommend it, especially now. I gotta go to the bathroom. I need to use the restroom. I'm gonna do that when I get to the docks waypoint. I'm gonna go run and use the bathroom real quick. Oh, can I really not frost blink over this? Ah, fuck. Okay, we gotta run around. Worth farming the four link and docks before Dominus? Yeah. Dox is super good XP. It's totally fine to clear Dox a few times. Especially if you're behind in levels. Like, I'm a little behind in levels. A little bit. Although, by the time I clear this zone, I probably won't be. Because you get so much XP here. The only time I missed OSA one step ahead was in the third lab where I almost died to it. Yeah. Once you get the Wrath Trinity set up online, I feel like the damage is totally fine for the campaign. And you usually get that like around the time you do lab anyway. So I feel like taking damage from the lab is like not the greatest. You know, I'm going to the bathroom. Here we Alright, I'm back. Let me vendor my shit before I continue. Uh, let's keep that. We need to we need to have a shield ready to go when we uh, put this claw on. So let's just keep that one. And we have that. And let's take the 500 one just so that we never have to worry about accuracy like ever again. And let's go back and let's re-clear the docks again. You get Ellie Weakness as a reward? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you do. Maybe I haven't turned it in yet. Turned that quest in yet. I don't have all the quest rewards memorized, so I'm not sure. There's another four link. Oh, look at that! Green, red, red! Green, green, red, blue! Yes! Green, green, red, blue! It's Trinity time, baby! It's Trinity time, baby! Yes! Alright, we can leave the docks now. Now we can leave the docks. <clears throat> I no longer need to stay in the docks.
I will clear the rest of it though. Actually, let's take that flask. Fat rat? Yeah, fat rat's awesome. Hard counting to Saturday? Yeah, me too, man. Although it's Friday for me. You must live in the future. If the leaf start for you is on Saturday, then you must live in the future. <laughs> you must be uh, living in the future. Will you be doing uh, viewer build reviews again? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure we'll be doing that. But not right away, though. Not for, like, probably a week or so. Not the first week we won't be doing that. You consider 25% fizz is extra watcher's eye? Uh, which... Which mod has that? Is that on Anger or something? What what Watcher's Eye has that mod? Bingo is peak content. Yeah, that's true, man. Bingo is peak content, dude. We'll, we'll make some refinements to Bingo, too. We got to come up with some ideas on how we can make Bingo better, guys. We we ramped up Bingo quite a bit quite a bit last league, but we can we can ramp up Bingo even harder. We can make Bingo even better. <clears throat> we'll come up with new squares. We'll we'll come up with uh, new new penalties and new standards and stuff. We'll we'll make bingo new and improved every league. Good morning, chat. Yo, what's going on, man? What do I intend to farm? Ultimatum, of course. I'm gonna farm ultimatum. I've been waiting a year and a half to farm ultimatum. Of course, I'm gonna farm ultimatum. And Essence and probably Harvest, too. Maybe Expedition, though. We'll see. It's probably going to be Ultimatum plus Essence, like guaranteed. And then either Expedition or Harvest. One of the two. Anger? No, I don't think, I don't think it's worth it to use that. To, just to proc Trinity, that's a lot, man. That is a lot. It's probably not worth it. Giving up Hatred to use Anger instead just to get Trinity to proc is... I almost guarantee you it's not worth it. We basically already tested it yesterday. Adding that Watcher's Eye wouldn't really... Wouldn't really make a difference. It'd be super cool. If you could put your start to endgame gaming into kind of video series at the start of the league and then put it on YouTube. Yeah, I will do that. I'll, I'll make like a build update kind of series. I usually have done that before. We'll do like a build diary kind of thing. You can use hatred plus grace plus anger. No, you can't. No, you can't. Especially not without the Helmet Chant anymore. Maybe if you use the Helmet Chant plus Enlighten, you could do it this league. But next league, you're not going to be able to do that. No way. You have to use Herald of Ice, too, remember? You're not going to give up Herald of Ice. So, no way. Uh, okay. Why did I come here? What am I doing? Oh, the amulet. I wanted to look at the amulet. And I also need to fix my fire resist because Gravisius is about to destroy my ass. Let's see if we can get these gloves on. What's this? Energy shield essence? Uh, do I have an, any other essences? Nope. I used my alchemy orb. Okay, I guess we have to essence this, these gloves. Dex, lightning damage! Dex and lightning damage with an open suffix. Perfect, dude. Perfect. Literally perfect. Okay, let's craft fire res. And um, put those on, and then fire res is still scuffed, but it's doable. And now 
I need to put Wrath on. I need a blue socket to get Wrath on, and I need the Int. I need a little bit more Int. I need a new belt is what I need. Or rings. I just need alchemy orbs, dude. Wait, can I just craft? Yeah, I can just craft in here. And then... we. St oh, we need one more int. We need one more goddamn int. Are you kidding me, dude? I guess we can just craft it here. For now. That's so scuffed, though, dude. Crafting int for one int? I need to just get a new belt or alchemy orbs or... Shit, I'll just transmute. Do I even have any, though? No, I only have one. I can't use it on that. These have an open suffix? No. This has an open suffix. But I'm going to drop that, though. Alright, this is shit, though. I'm going to lose a lot of damage when I put this on, actually. Maybe. Um, Alright, let's just keep going so we don't get stun-locked by this. We'll figure it out as we go. Okay, we got that. And then I want the claw shit, but... Um, might be a couple more levels before we put the claw shit on. So let's take that and then I want this shit too. Let's go here and let's start taking this shit. We'll put the claw stuff on hold. Let's see if we can get by Gravisius without him destroying my ass. Oh, no, I'm dead. Fuck. I knew I should have put down a safety portal there. Fire res is not fixed enough. XP. Give me the XP. Give me the frenzy charges. so hard to see shit in this game. There we go. Did you go over the quality change? Uh, did I go over it? I mean, yeah, you, you're going to get extra proj instead of projectile speed, which is pretty much irrelevant. Additional proj is, is uh, irrelevant, and so is projectile speed, basically, so that's kind of a wash. What's the next best support gem if we can't make Trinity work? Uh, Ruthless. Are you on Twitch and YouTube again, or, or just YouTube? I'm on both. We're on both right now. Yeah, go, go follow the stream on Twitch. If you guys are on all you... Jesus Christ, we're getting destroyed. All you guys on YouTube, go uh, follow the stream on Twitch. The Twitch stream is the same name. Those guys were shrined up. Nah. So this, this is um, well, the point that I'm at right now is a point that a lot of people struggle with while they're leveling when you have to make like a big transition like uh, in your build. So like right now, I want to switch to a claw and I want to put on Wrath and start using Trinity, right? And what I need to do that is I need Intelligence and I need um, Blue Sockets, right? So what people can do is like they'll get stun locked like worrying about how to fit those in and they'll like run around in town to like every vendor 
looking for the looking for the items with the sockets and like even on trade league like people will like go to the trade site and try to buy items for one elk on the trade site and like they'll just like spend so much time like thinking about how to make that switch happen but you kind of have to just keep going just keep playing this is my my philosophy anyway i think it's better to just like keep going keep playing the game and like making progress through the campaign as long as you can you know as long as you still have the damage and you can still kill shit just keep going. Eventually, you will find the shit you need, and you'll be able to make the swap. As long as you're not, like, hard stuck, just keep going, man. Don't don't worry and, like, waste time, like, sitting around, like, oh, how, do, how do I get these gloves on? How do I put the Trinity in? You know, how do I get the claw on? Like, it doesn't have enough damage. What do I do? You know, just don't stunlock yourself, like, worrying about how to transition your build. And this applies to, like, any build, not just this one. Uh, like if you're switching to a, a new upgrade and like it, it bricks your intelligence or something or it bricks your stats or it bricks your resists If you're still in the campaign like it doesn't matter dude. Just keep going, you know Just keep going. It's better to just move forward to the next objective and You will your build will just get fixed along the way fix your build when you can Ow, ow, titty bitches. Titty bitches. And practice too, guys. Practice actually makes a massive difference, let me tell you. You will learn a lot of things about the zones if you practice. You'll learn how to read the zones a little bit and, like, understand where to go. Like, I think I'm going the wrong way right now. And then uh, you will just shave time off of your clears and uh, maybe I wasn't. You just get better and better the more times you do it. Even though leveling kind of sucks. Wait, did I? Did it, maybe I'm going the wrong way this whole time. Show me the stairs. There we go. Like in this zone, if you see stairs going up, you know you're going the right direction. That's what I was looking for just there. Heat Shiver still BIS? Yeah, it is. Are we looking at other helmets? No, man. We did look at other helmets. Heat Shiver is still just too good. Even with the nerf, it's still the best helmet. So that just means the build's going to be just weaker. The build's going to be the same, it's just going to be weaker, unfortunately. Because there's nothing, nothing even comes close to how strong Heat Shiver is. Damn, I need a vendor. I got too much bullshit here. Okay, let's put this claw right here until we can figure out how to get it on. We vendor that, we keep that. And we keep that, and we vendor all this other shit. Oh yeah, there's the, is this other weakness? No, it's not. Um, yeah, so I need a new helmet. I'll look at, I'll look real quick for a new helmet or new boots. I need more blue sockets. Uh, nope. None of these really, uh, none of these really fit the bill. So we're going to keep going. Or a shield, I guess. I could get a shield that has blue sockets. Let's go back. What do you think of the heat shiver nerfs? They do, it sucks, man. I mean, the heat shiver nerfs suck. <laughs> what can I say? It's still the best helmet, so you still have to use it, basically, but you're just going to have way less damage now. That's about all there is to it. But it's still 60% more damage, so you, you can't not use it. Anything else you use is going to be worse still, so it's a big nerf, unfortunately, but it's not build breaking. It's not like the build you know, won't function still. So it's fine. Let's kill this guy. He's going to drop some good loot, surely. Oh, can't make that blink.
Uh, you're speaking another language. I don't speak that language. I don't know what you're saying. You can watch everything retroactively. Oh shit, a thief's, a thief's thing. Thief's torment. Should I put that on? I should definitely put that on, huh? Uh, I need the int though. Fuck, I'm gonna die. I don't think I can put it on. Yeah, I need the I need the int. Shit, this is really good. If I could just fix my int. That's right, it breaks Trinity, but it doesn't break the build. That is exactly right. I can't wait for the new league mechanic, dude. I cannot wait to finally have an in-map league mechanic. Okay, there's the lightning damage craft that you need, guys. That's something important to take note of. The lightning damage craft that you need for your weapon is right here at Piety. You're going to need that to make Trinity proc, probably. So this is the point where you want to look to switching. Oh, shit. I'm going to die. No flash charges. Okay, I put up. Oh, wait. Checkpoint. Yeah. Where'd she go? Oh, I can put um I could have put Wrath on this whole time. I didn't realize it. Jesus the Blood Rage makes your leech at this point in the game like do nothing pretty much. Can't you take the int node on the tree? Um, yeah. That's it. probably is what I should do, actually. That's a good tip. That's a pretty good tip. Okay, I don't even need to look at these items, because there's no way I'm going to use them. Bye. Probably not going to use that ring either, actually. Alright, let's take that. That's a good good idea and then uh, we need another blue socket still we could probably get that oh wait the claw has blue sockets I'm stupid god damn it the claw has blue sockets okay let's see if we can make the switch right now um, Trinity there uh, whirling blades can go there frost blades uh, ruthless I'm gonna stick with ruthless uh, let's put this sword in our offhand and keep leveling that. And then uh, we put Blood Rage, Herald of Ice. That can go there. That can go there. We can put faster attacks on now, finally. And Whirling Blades. We're about to be zooming, boys. We're about to start zooming. Faster attacks on the Whirling Blades. Uh, what else? Added Cold, Ruthless, Trinity, Frost Blades. Uh, Arrow device, Wrath. Uh, Wrath goes there, and then what did I do with that Ellie weakness? Ellie weakness. Ellie weakness comes on. We put Whirling Blades right here. All right. We might not be able to proc the Trinity just yet, but that's fine. That is totally fine. Is this where I want shit? I want Wrath there. Alright, now we're Whirling Bladesing, and let's see what our damage is like. Cold, and 125. We might be able to proc it. We might already be able to proc it. Oh, I can craft a Lightning Damage uh, craft on my Claw, too. Let's go do that right now. Then it will definitely proc.
Adds lightning damage. Oh, you need four transmutes. Fuck, I can't craft it yet. Um, I have two. Two and a half. I need one and a half transmutes, and then we'll be we'll be online. I gotta pick up more magic shit. I don't ever. I stopped picking up magic items like after Act One. I need to. It's a good idea to pick up magic shit and vendor it, guys, because it gives you transmutes. Or so does like unidentified rares, I think, right? Yeah, Trinity's proccing. So now we're online and we probably actually have like slightly less damage than we just had on the sword because that sword was really good. But now we're going to be really fast and then now we can just start scaling with a better claw. We can just look for better claws and the damage will just go up and up and up and up. There's a lab trial here, I think, too. This is the plum thing that's irrelevant. Remember the ring? Yeah, I don't know if I need that ring, actually. Let me see, can I use it? Yeah, I can use it. Fixes my resists a lot. It's really good for resists. These ones had nothing. Yeah, let's just use it. The life on hit and mana on hit is pretty good too. No, it doesn't. We gotta go down here. I played Frostblades last league. I'd love to go again. I played with Heat Shiver version. On Pee Wee Ninja, some use the Blizzard Crown. No, those people are idiots, man. Those people on Pee Wee Ninja using Blizzard Crowns are complete clowns, man. I'm sorry to say, but they are complete clowns. Their builds are scuffed. Blizzard Crown wasn't even better than Heat Shiver. Well, I mean, it definitely wasn't better than Heat Shiver last league before it got nerfed. And it's it's still not. It's still not, um, even after the nerfs, Blizzard Crowns are still not better than Heat Shiver. It's just not the play. Blizzard Crown is not the play. If they had completely removed the freeze damage from Heat Shiver, then Blizzard Crowns probably would be better. But they didn't. Heat Shiver still has 60% Cold as extra, which is too good not to use, even for a, even for a seven link Blizzard Crown. Also, like Blizzard Crown, it's not as good as you think it is because one of the things you get on Blizzard Crown is base crit, right? But you get that base crit for free from Brittle, basically. So as long as you're okay with using Brittle, then that base crit from the Blizzard Crown is like useless because you already get that for free pretty much from Brittle. So you have to think about that too. So using the Blizzard Crown when you can get that crit for free is is not ideal. Blizzard Crown, how come how come people use it? They use it because I, uh, I I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Probably because some guy did it to cheese the PoE Ninja numbers and then a bunch of people copied him because he had the highest damage on PoE Ninja because PoE Ninja doesn't count elusive, it doesn't count Trinity, it doesn't count all kinds of shit. Pewee Ninja damage is, like, irrelevant. It couldn't be more irrelevant. Yep. Thanks for the infill. Last league I managed to get Frostblaze to 5 million damage. I had problems freezing. Yeah, you just gotta get more damage, man. 
That's that's the answer. You just gotta keep going. Keep scale on the build up, get more damage. Freezing is going to be less important this league, though, because much less of your damage is going to be reliant on freezing now. So, like, whether or not you're freezing the bosses now is is almost going to be irrelevant. Not quite irrelevant, but it's going to be almost irrelevant if you don't freeze bosses now. You're still going to want to, but it's not going to be, like, a massive damage loss if you're not, like it was last league. Which is kind of good. It's like a quality of life thing. You're not going to have to f freak out about freezing or not anymore. And the reason is because we're not going to use Trinity anymore. Because you don't have enough fire damage to proc it anymore. And before, you had to freeze to proc the Trinity. So now, you don't really have to freeze anymore, except to get the damage from Heat Shiver. But the damage from Heat Shiver is not nearly as much as it used to be, so it's it's not as important a, as it used to be to freeze. But, like I said, you're still going to want to, because it is 30% damage still. But it's 30% instead of 100%, so it's not... And you're not relying on it for Trinity. It's not critical anymore. Soul Drinker options. Yeah. Soul Drinker options are definitely doable. But because the build doesn't have ailment immunity, you rely on one step ahead for, for that. Uh, and then if you take one step ahead, you can't take Soul Drinker because Swift Killer and Polymath are both mandatory. There's absolutely no way you're dropping either one of those. So... Man, Thief's Torment is such a good ring. It almost lets you face tank everything because it has so much life on hit. Is Brittle a lab enchant? No, it's a boot implicit. It's a Searing Exarch boot implicit. Would you be up for checking out my character as a learning lesson? Um, not not today, no. Sorry, man. We're doing a speed run today, although we're not going very fast, but this is supposed to be a practice run. We're not gonna we're not gonna look at POBs right now. We'll do that after the league starts and we can like know a little more about what the new stuff is and what what we should be doing with it because right now it's still kind of up in the air a little bit about what's the best yeah I need a little more lightning damage still I need those transmutes. I forgot. I need transmutes. I'm not proccing Trinity because I don't have enough lightning damage. Because I don't have the lightning craft yet. Because I don't have transmutes. He'd be dead already if I did. When bingo, thief spoon. Yeah, a little bit. Not that bad though. It's not that big. It's a it's a baby spoon. It's a baby spoon. Oh, what is that? Now some of those beast effects are crazy. Transmute! There's one! Nice. I need to just vendor some magic shit. Maybe I already have enough, actually. If I just uh, if you sell unID'd rares, you get uh transmute shards, right?
Oh, I rubber banded a little bit there. Planning on to Void Stones here or just the campaign? Um, I don't know. I'll just go as far as I can tonight. It probably won't be the Void Stones, though. No. Probably not. And then I gotta go back to work tomorrow night, guys. I'm working all week until the until Friday, so um, I probably will not be streaming again until the league. All right, let's go get that craft on. Although this claw kind of sucks, should I wait and should I try to get a better claw? Before I waste my resources here, do I have any? I have one alchemy orb. Let's see if I can get another blinder and get a better one before I waste all my transmutes. Or a different claw base, even. Yeah, this one. Oh, it's magic! Fuck! What about this one? Oh, this one's magic too! God damn it! Why, why are they both fucking magic? Why can't one of them be, be white? I need them to be normal. Man. That's so stupid. I kind of want to wait now. I kind of want to wait until I get a better claw base. I think I'm going to, actually. I'm going to just wait. Use my transmutes on a better claw base. I need to go down here. Yeah, that claw is trash. Yeah, I don't want it is trash. I want a better one before I start wasting all my resources. Once I get a, a decent one, I can keep it like for a long time. Gotta start looking out for the drops. Killing too much shit. I need to move. We're good on levels. Oh, fuck. I ate that slam. I stood right in the middle of that slam. I don't know what I was thinking there. Do you need to get the boost to drop from Exarch? Or does doing the altars let you roll for it? No, there's, yeah, there's currencies, there's uh, Ember and Icker currencies that drop in maps once you start doing altars, and you use those currencies to roll the implicits, and that's how you get brittle. Yeah, my damage is still ass, because I have a shit claw. Spraz, will you make a command for Heat Shiver? <laughs> make a command for Heat Shiver. Exclamation mark Heat Shiver. Yes, it's still the best helmet. It's, it's literally been asked like 20 times today. You already did, D Trinity. <coughs> Do you mean Binity? <laughs> okay. Oh, Fright Claw. Is that the best base? Is that my base? Maybe it is. I think this is the claw we alk and pray. We alk and pray that we get an open prefix for lightning damage and like not complete useless everything else.
or almost to Crystal Veins, which is where I do Labyrinth. When we get to the Crystal Veins waypoint, I will go back and finish up Lab Trials. Maybe the one or two that I missed, and then go do Labyrinth. Ah, oh, rubber banding. Come on. Ah, oh, lag. It's my latency. Try Ellie's Spoon Claw? Oh, I hope so. I hope you're right. Try Ellie is pretty common, though. Another Alk! Oh, we got two chances. Now we have two chances to make a good claw. I think spending your alchemy orbs and your essences on claw upgrades is probably the best thing to do with them during the campaign. Especially at this stage in the game, like in Act, act 4 or so. Once you get something decent, you can keep it for like a long time. What? Lagging out. Monsters ain't dying. I'm probably going to want to get this upgrade before I go do lab. Otherwise, this R is going to destroy my ass. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm lagging, man. I'm lagging and it's pissing me off. Alright, let's uh, alk this bad boy right here. Do I have any quality? No, not enough to matter. Alright, please damage! Oh my god! Yes! Ah! <laughs> oh, that cold damage is actually not that good though. The cold damage is actually uh, a little bit... I'd rather that cold damage not even be there, probably. Oh, I need another blue socket now though. Can I chrome this? Which should I chrome to get a blue socket? The boots or the shield? Or the chest? I need to chrome something to get a blue socket. There's some blue sockets. Wait, that goes there. Uh. Alright, new claw goes on. Ellie weakness there. Wrath there. And that goes there. Steel skin there. It's a protector there. That goes there. And fuck, what was here? Totem. Yep, alright. That should be much, much better. Lightning damage is high. And alright, let's uh, go to the lab thing in Majig and see which trial we didn't get. I think it's one of them or so. Oh, we got all of them actually. I think. Is Ruthless better? They're both good, man. They're pretty close to the same. Ruthless and Ellie damage are both very, very good. Oh, I'm rubber banding. What is this rubber banding, man? I actually need to turn my game sound up a hair. I can't hear the game like at all. Such 
resilience. It's just a hair. That's better. Put the commands in the title? Yeah, I will. scary. I gotta focus. Don't want to die and waste my time. I'm going the wrong way, I think, too. Let's go down here. Enjoy the Trinity while you're leveling, too, boys, because uh, that's the only time you're going to get to use it. Oh, this was the wrong fucking way. Damn it. Is it? Oh, my God. Is it up there? Fucking hate lab. Rubber banding. Oh my god, it's down here somewhere. God damn it, I was going the right way. I hate lab! Get me out of here! Oh my god. Okay, fuck it. We're just going to go this this way. What? Is, why am I rubber banding like crazy now? What the fuck is this? What? Oh my... Again, dude. Oh, not like this, man. Not like this. <sighs> it was so smooth, and now I'm rubber banding like every two seconds. God damn it. Oh, another claw. Maybe this claw is OP. Penance, brand, penance brand changes are nuts. Yeah. Been using LA damage with and with frost blades and ruthless with ancestral protector until you get multi to them. It's not a bad idea. Using one out to get Valence's War Chief is MVP. You don't get War Chief. I don't think. You don't you don't get Ancestral War Chief early. You don't get that until the library, I believe. Just like Ancestral Protector. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Let's be more careful. I, I'm gonna be more careful so I don't die. Got one at level 35 from a side area. Oh, that's nice. Ah! 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 Jesus, that was close. Good thing I didn't rubber band right there. I would have died. Lock step? Um, no, predictive. Predictive. A good song right here. No two battles are alike.
Whew. All right, we did it. We did it. Remember when I got that Grand Spectrum from my very first lab <laughs> that I sold for 60 Divines? <laughs> when I migrated to Trade League? Ah, that was funny. Oh, a Blinder. Another Claw. Let's check out that Claw. Alright, let's, uh, let's look at all this shit. Uh, wow. Open prefix, attack speed, crit multi. Big cold damage. Uh, this one's better than mine, isn't it? I don't need the sockets either. Can't use those. Can't use any of that shit. I'd like to use that. But uh, I need the sockets a little bit. What's this shield? Shite. What the fuck is that? I don't want to use that. I don't think I have four transmutes anymore, though. Why are you whispering me in, like, German, dude? I, I don't I don't speak German. I don't know what that says. Um, no, I don't have the transmutes. I think this is an upgrade, though. We'll hold on to it. Alright, lab is done. We can continue now. Damage is starting to come online now a little bit. Oh shit, exploding orbs. Coral! Coral ring! Freezes. Ha ha ha! Not me. Not me anymore. Transmute. Thresher Claw. That's the next claw. Let's keep that. Not fucking Trinity with that claw? Maybe. Yeah, it might have too much cold damage. But we, once we level up our Wrath a little bit more, we should still be able to. The more you level up the Wrath, the more lightning damage you get, so it gets easier and easier the, the higher you get. Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy since I've already fought him for like five seconds. Nine alterations. Holy. Help switch to Herald of Thunder. You don't need to, no. I mean, yeah, it would help, but you don't need to. It's not that hard to proc Trinity with Wrath and Lightning Damage. It's not that hard. Crits? Jesus.
What are you guys doing? What are you guys up to? Are you guys practicing? Are you playing Call of Duty? Are you playing... Are you PUBing? What are you guys doing? Jesus. Did my practice run today? Nice, dude. Yeah, this will be the only one I do just because uh, I gotta go. I gotta go to work. I gotta go back to work all week. I have a little bit of time, like in the afternoons this week, but uh, I'll be like making the video and like finishing up the POB and shit, and uh, I won't really have time to, to play much more until the league start. But on Friday, I'll be off, though. I'll be off for three days. I got three days off. That's all I could get for the league start. are good, but I can't use them. Um, what's this? This thing's pretty good. That claw's really good. Um, it's got lots of fizz and lightning damage on it, and attack speed. That's such a shitty base, though. Even with 18% attack speed, it's still slower than this one. Um, does this guy have a skill point for us? Yeah. S waiting for Friday. Had my stuff set one week ago. Playing Warframe. League start test tomorrow. One stream. Nice, dude. Counter strike, man. Counter strike, what a game. What a game. Just watching you practice earlier, really slow. Watching helps me see what I need to speed up. Yeah, that's good. really put these skill points in. Plus one wrath level. Ghostbusters! Anybody sad about the ghost busting nerfs? Because I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I know all the layouts, but you're lazy, so it ends up being eight hours. <laughs> yeah, that's same with me, dude. I could, uh, I could min max quite a bit harder than I do. I just go at like a pretty, pretty comfortable speed for me. If I absolutely min-max, I could level probably in like an hour faster, but I just can't be bothered. That would require a lot more practice, which I don't have time to do. Just even one practice run will make you a lot faster. Because you will learn all the things you need to do and like when you need to do them and what to focus on when 
and what you don't need to focus on. If you don't do any practice at all, you're going to be like scrambling a lot, way too much. Let's kill these rares since they're grouped up together. You did C, D. What do you say? Stream feels like 20. Not dropping frames. Was the bitrate crashing again or something? Oh, shit. Jewel. Wow. You practice in events? Am I a nerd for getting 40 out of 40 in your first league? First league ever? Um, no. I don't think so. This call is probably a big upgrade. Let me see. so stupid that your DPS doesn't show like until you move. 14, 14, 20. No, it's actually not. It's actually not really an upgrade. league I have a mind on improving my league start nice dude I hope you have a good one I need some better flasks I don't really need these flasks anymore thanks for the layouts I just have to run the campaign a few times to get the feel because there's too many to remember them all yeah it just comes with repetition after you've played enough characters, you eventually will just, you'll learn all of them. Just takes repetition. Life search two tamings. Each year is probably cheap now. Maybe. As long as the, if the drop rate is the same, it probably will be a little bit cheaper than it was last league because people are going to think it's useless and not nearly as many people are going to want it. So hopefully it won't be like 60C or some shit or 70C on day one, day two. I still think it should be like one of the first things you buy. Maybe taming um, might be a better purchase early on, but yeah, you're going to want it for sure. about getting speed run times on Axe. I just want to get to map stay one. Yeah, getting to map stay one is pretty easy. Very, extremely easy. Especially if you practice. Don't compare yourself to top players with da with fake damage. Yeah. Definitely shouldn't do that. They removed Call of Steel. Woo! Five link, then taming, then heat shiver, then six link. Yeah. That's probably pretty, pretty reasonable priorities. 
Beachiever will be 5 to 10 C now. The Brittle with LA Damage Helm is a good replacement. Maybe. Yeah. Before you get Heatshiver, you can use almost any helmet. Almost doesn't even matter what helmet you use. You can use like Starkonjas, you could use like a Devotos, you could use uh, a rare helmet, whatever. Like it, it doesn't matter. Splitting steel seems like it'd be good. Maybe, yeah. Might be worth trying out. I would try it out if I had time. I just don't have time. The limited time that I do have, I'd rather just do this. Just pr get a practice run in for this. And uh, call it a day. Start two hours sooner. Huh? Rare Helm might give you more QOL. I mean, it's just you're, all you need from it is res, right? Because that's what each ever has. You don't want to get anything else other than res. Because then you'll end up you'll end up having to brick your build. Well, maps next league will drop the six link divination card. Probably the same ones, the the dungeon ones. Like cells, cage, um, dungeon. I think. You got a thrill steel. Yeah, the onslaught helmet. Yeah, the onslaught helmet. Uh, the onslaught helmet's a good option. I think. Yeah. in the slam. You can probably fit in one more aura with a rear helmet and try the anger shenanigans. Only if you drop Herald of Ice, man, which you're not going to do. No. So no, you can't. You, you cannot fit in one more aura with just putting on a rare helmet. No, 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 no. I see the damage difference now, though, compared to like Mervale, <laughs> like how slow Mervale was, how bad the damage was in Act One and Act Two. 
Like, we're pretty much online now, and it's just going to get better and better the more we upgrade. And we're just going to get faster and faster and faster. And, uh, zoom, <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. Did that thing not die? Come on. Are you so in love with death? I'm not saying it's like insane damage or anything. Obviously, there's skills that are way better, but it's good enough. The damage is good enough. You get a shape or shield with mana res. Yeah, but you don't need to, you don't really need to do that either because then you you would, that just replaces the enlighten, so it doesn't really gain you anything. All it gains you is a gem. All right, multi strike. We got multi strike now. See now, once you get multi strike too, man. Woo! It's time to pop off, dude. Multi strike makes the build really pop off. Time is at one. A little bit behind on levels. I need to farm, I need to kill more monsters. You're gonna use splitting steel until Act Three. Yeah, not having to reload it is gonna make it a lot better, because the reload mechanic made it annoying. But without that reload mechanic, splitting steel is gonna feel really good. That's definitely a, not a bad option. Well, I need that essence. Let's go kill that essence. A regal orb. Those are stupid rare. Evasive. Hmm. Wait. No, it's not, that's not the four link I need. Going the wrong way. Still rubber banding a bit too. Yeah, I'm falling behind on levels. Now my gems are leveling up too much. Or is it just int? No, it's levels too. Drop elemental damage with attacks before ruthless. I dropped them both because I don't have an. I have a uh, two green sockets, so I had to drop both of them. If I had a, if I had a green, blue, red, red, I would use uh one of the two. I mean, it doesn't even really matter, honestly. They're both good. It doesn't even matter which one you use. They're both like practically identical in damage. You're not really gonna notice. You're not really going to notice a damage difference between Ruthless and Ellie damage. Just use whichever one. It, like, it literally is irrelevant which one you pick for leveling. They are both very strong gems.
Speed is going to start ramping big time now, though. Is it correct to assume that running Atlas Tree for Labyrinth Trials will be profitable? Yeah, probably. Everything's profitable, man. Everything in the game is profitable. You'll make money no matter what you do. The best way to make money is Hideout is Lava. That's the best way to make money. Hideout is Lava. That's how you make currency in this game. And just play a lot. Play a lot and do Hideout is Lava. That's the spec that you do. People that make the most money are the people that just play like an absolute degenerate for 16 hours a day and they don't ever just sit in their hideout. They're constantly blasting. That's how you make money. First week is god money? It might be, yeah. Transfigured gems are going to be worth something? Probably, yeah. Because people hate doing lab and they're not going to want to do it for their gems. Especially on the ones that have multiple different transfigured versions. People aren't going to want to run lab to get the, like, the correct version that they want. If they don't get it when they run their lab. So yeah, it'll be money. It will be money for sure. Oh yeah, I need to take the claw nodes. I never took the claw nodes on the tree. That's what's coming next, for sure. I skipped them. Dawn of increased lab runs? Not for me, it ain't. Not for me, it ain't. I ain't doing no goddamn lab runs. I'm never running lab ever again. I would skip lab. If I could ascend some other way, I would do it. Check this POV. Three... Three aura with enlightened four and rear helm. Am I missing something? You probably herald device. You're probably missing herald device. Like you're talking about doing all that just to fit in anger, which is just to get Trinity to proc, and I'm telling you that that is not worth it instead of Heat Shiver. Heat Shiver gives you 60% more damage. Trinity does not. <laughs> You're doing all that just to proc Trinity, which Trinity is an extremely strong gem, but it is not worth all that when you could just use Heat Shiver. Plus all those things you're talking about, like Reservation Shield and shit, Enlighten, those are like very high budget things. You're not going to do those on day one, like week one, more than likely. So, it's like, it's like kind of redundant, it's kind of irrelevant to even think about that shit right now. Because it's not League Start viable.
Money. Halton Halt or some shit. What level am I? 41? Do I want to farm this again? What do you mean hideout is lava? Stay out of your hideout. Get into a map. Don't don't just sit in your hideout thinking about like whether or not to upgrade to heat shiver or not. <laughs> just get back into a map and play the game. This might be a mistake. Uh, I'm trying to get, kill this guy now, but. We'll go for it. Hey, he's dying. He's dying. I need a snack. I'm hungry. I need to go eat the rest of my burrito. I made a breakfast burrito earlier and I got half of it left. I'm gonna go heat it up in a minute. Take a break for a quick minute. You have two small mana efficiency clusters? Ew, hell no. Hell no, dude. Now you're talking about wasting skill points on the tree too? Like, just just for Trinity? No, 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 no. Ain't no way that's worth. Gonna have to just accept it, man. Trinity is dead. You gotta just accept it. Move on. Accept it and move on. I'm starting to get cold too. I need to put my freaking sweater on. Whoops, one shot. Oh, shit. Come on, do your freaking phase already, Innocence. Alright, Innocence is down. We're almost ready for Kitava. We're at 2 hours and 53 minutes or something. 3 hours. 3 hour Kitava and then 2 hour Act 10. Act 6 through 10. Act 7 takes like 15 minutes, so... Totally fine.
Oh shit. Lightning totem. You have to go that way. Besides the rubber banding, the game is running like smoother than it ever has before for me. With my all my new computer parts that I got this week. It's feeling real good. Now if I could not just not have that rubber banding, I would be sitting pretty. So it's 50 cold res. Fizz is extra cold. Nah. Whatever. What's this? <laughs> that thing sucks. This one might be an upgrade. I don't even think we ever put that on, did we? We some vendor that. Let's put this on and see if it's an upgrade. Four, twenty-three. No, it's not. It's too slow. That's the problem with it. It's slow as f. Let's get this flask on. down to the reliquary keep taking these claw nodes speed nodes I think my chat thing broke my chat app like broke or something hold on guys I can't see any of your chat, I don't think. If I haven't been responding, it's because I think my chat thing bugged out. Let me look at it.
Look at this thing. This thing is like so far. Oh, I was scrolled up. Oh, shit. I was accidentally scrolled up on the chat thing. My bad. My bad, guys. Oh, I was accidentally scrolled up on the chat thing, and then I thought it was just sitting there and no one was saying anything because I was scrolled up. God damn it. Oh, I'm like two minutes behind on chat now. Uh, pizza. Weekend snacks. Uh, you mean hot dogs because you had nothing else? Hey, hot dogs are bomb, dude. You know what I used to do when I was a kid? Or even when I was younger? Just take a hot dog and heat it up and then put a piece of American cheese around it and heat it up again a little bit and melt that cheese and you just eat the hot dog with cheese around it. Oh, my God. That's bomb, dude. <laughs> That's bomb right there, dude. Let me tell you. Who's done that before? Type 1 in the chat if you've eaten a hot dog with American cheese wrapped around it before. Two hundred FPS is wild. <coughs> yeah, it's feeling pretty good. The rubber banding is from Predictive. No, that's not. I don't believe that's true. The entire point of Predictive is to mitigate rubber banding. How can you not put that shield on? Eh, it's kind of irrelevant. It's an irrelevant upgrade at this point. That's why I didn't put it on. Scrolled up on chat. That's another square. Ah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm definitely a night square gamer by now. Alright, is it time for Katava? I guess it is. It's time for Katava. <clears throat> so I, th I thought the same about Predictive until I switched it. I've played on Lockstep before, and I've found Predictive to be smoother in general. Especially in juiced maps. I will try them both, like back and forth, though, sometimes. Pig dogs wrapped, hot dogs wrapped in ham and cheese and then cooked in a pastry. Oh, yeah, hot dogs in a blanket. Yeah, that's called a hot dog in a blanket. Those are, those are hella good. Or what do you guys call those? Pigs in a blanket? Hey, there's a, uh, there's a green, red, red, blue. Maybe we can get that on and get... Get uh, get rid of added cold for more consistent Trinity procking. Oh shit! I just got stunned there and I got annihilated. Exploding crystals. Pigs in a blanket. Yeah. That's not correct. Predictive gives you instant feedback. Lockstep confirms your movement before it feeds it to the client. life now, finally. Alright, we're at Katava. We're at what, 3.10? 3 hours and 10 minutes, Katava. That's not that bad, actually. It's actually, un unironically, not bad for a league start. In my opinion.
Wraps with ground beef, spinach, parsley, onion, tomatoes. Nope, I died because I was, I was reading about the wrap. I'm not a big fan of wraps in general, which is kind of funny because I love burritos. And wraps are kind of like... They're like shitty version of burritos. Wraps are just like inferior burritos. Why do you already have Mana Leech? Well, I have it from Thief's Torment. That's what, you, that's what you're seeing. You're seeing Thief's Torment. But you have Mana Leech from the Leech Node on the tree. I'd have it even if I didn't have Thief's Torment. God damn it, I keep standing in slams. <laughs> I got a Thief's Torment drop, so that's what that is. But you also have this, so you, you're going to have the Mana Leech regardless. A Halal Snack Pack? Halal? Isn't halal? Halal is like the Muslim version of kosher. It's like religiously approved to be eaten or some shit. Or what exactly does halal mean? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I hit the log out button. I actually logged out again. God damn it. I didn't mean to hit that button. See, I'm breaking my run with all this shit. All these fucking mistakes. This could have easily been like a 45 minute faster run if I didn't make all these stupid ass mistakes. I have to run all the way back even though Katava's already dead. Fries with chicken, salt, and cheese. Gyro beef, chicken on top, garlic, chili barbecue sauce. Yeah, that sounds bomb. <laughs> Enjoy your heart attack. Yeah. What's the current go-to gem setup? Um, just not Trinity, basically. Basically, not Trinity anymore. We'll add endgame. In the campaign, you still use it. It's basically the same exact gem setup. You just swap out Trinity for Ruthless. Use Ruthless instead of Trinity. Oh wait, I have to kill every single monster here. God damn, there's so many rares here. Extra fizz overwhelms fizz. Lightning Mirage. All 
I need to I need to get my gems squared away too. I need to get multi totem. I need to get uh, bone chill. And I'm not gonna switch to crit yet. I'll switch to crit like later on in the campaign. So I need to start getting my gem socket colors sorted out a little bit more. What kind of claw bases does this guy have? Tiger's paw, forty-three, thirty-seven. It's probably the best one. Do I have an alk or an essence to try to go for another upgrade? I got three alks and one essence. Hey, look, another SSF gamer. Let's buy this one and see if we can get an upgrade. Uh, this is a life leech one, so we don't want to use that. Let's essence it. 74 fizz with an open prefix. 40 to 75. Um, 1.6. I think this is going to be an upgrade. Think. I'm just gonna go for it anyway, even if it's not. I don't even care if it's not. I'm gonna use it anyway. And we're gonna alk this to. Oh, wait, that's what we should use this on. This is life essence. And that's got a big int roll on it, too. That's nice. Alright, we got rid of this. We were using this, guys. I was using this helmet all the way to Katava. I was using a white helmet with a lightning resist craft on it all the way to Katava. And I'm still using a, a white belt with a craft on it, too. And chest. Look, guys. I was using three white items, guys. A white chest, a white belt, and a white helmet. I made all the way to Katava with those items. You see that? The lag is insane. Is it? What happened? Did the stream die? Bit rate. I'm gonna go heat up my food. Baby. Stream bricked. Um, hmm. I don't know, guys. 
It says excellent connection on YouTube. Twitch bitrate. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to even see that. Is the stream lagging? Still? YouTube was lagging. How oh. scuffed are my resists? A bit scuffed. Pause here in a minute so I can eat. I'll pause the timer and we'll uh, I'll take a break and eat and see if it settles out. Peely runs on my old ass computer, so I don't even notice. Oh, P I'm having no performance issues at all. It's must just all it's all the stream. Oh, my first delirium mirror. Next waypoint, I'm gonna log out. Yeah, we need to switch the four link because the uh, the wrath is not keeping up with the added cold. All right, we're logging out, and then let me see. Start, pause, timer. Okay, I'm pausing the timer. Pausing the timer. I'm going to eat for a minute. Average bitrate too high. What? Twitch says average stream bitrate too high. What?
Twitch Inspector. What the hell is this? Stable now. Um... The average bitrate is too high. This can cause buffering. Um, bitrate is too high. What? What does that mean? What happened? I'm just eating. I'm taking a break to eat for a minute. And the stream was lagging, so I'm seeing if it settles out a little bit. the hell man too high of a bitrate I thought that I don't understand that man, streaming is weird guys I thought you wanted high bitrate I thought high bitrate was a good thing. What the, what the hell does this mean? Your bitrate is too high. You're still on a 1070? And you have your games on an HD hard? You do not have your... You are not. Trigger. Trig, you're not using... You're not using a hard disk drive. Are you really? Oh my god, I haven't had one of those in like five years. It's more than that, I haven't had one of those in like seven or eight years, dude. Hard drive? Oh my god. That desktop background is epic. It's from uh, Wallpaper Engine. Wallpaper Engine. 3070 Ti, yeah, that's a good card, man. That's a nice card. Sixteen hundred XT, but your CPU is twenty seven hundred. Yeah, that's kind of the situation I was in. I had just upgraded my CPU though, and it made a huge difference. Just tuned in. What's the current verdict? The current verdict is the build's exactly the same with less damage. That's the one I got, Bursley. I got the fifty eight hundred X three D. That's exactly what I have. See.
That is exactly the one. Yeah, I've been happy with it. I just got it yesterday, though. Average FPS. Well, I also just got a new graphics card today. I got a new CPU and a new graphics card. But, I mean, my PoE is running super, super nice. I'm getting like 150 plus frames. And I got, I got really big improvements on other games, too, like Witcher 3 and Call of Duty. Seems like there's, like, almost a consensus that the 5800... X3D is the best AM4 card there is, or I mean AM4 Are we ready to play now? How's the stream, guys? Is it smooth? Stable? I'm ready to resume. How are we doing? It goes, it tanks when you fight mobs.
Bitrate is too high. Man, this is so strange, dude. What if I lower this down a little bit? I'm going to lower the bit rate. Uh, I'm just going to try this just for a, a test and see if it smooths it out at all. Alright, I gotta play now though. Hopefully it smooths out. I guess I should probably learn about this shit. I should learn how all this shit works and what this shit means and stuff, cause like, I'm kinda clueless. I'm kind of like a, I'm a streaming noob, guys. I need to learn, I need to learn about this shit. But uh, I'm going to resume, and then we're going to go. Start. All right, timer's on. We're playing. Good morning from the UK. What up, Steve? Good morning, dude. How's it going? Poison Conk can do under 3 hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> Listen, dude. The time that you can complete the campaign has way more to do with individual skill and experience than it does with the skill that you're choosing. It's not like any random player can just slap on Poisonous Concoction and do a 3 hour and 40 minute Act 10. That is not how it works. <laughs> that is not how it works, sir. <clears throat> the act 10 time is not linked to the skill it's linked to the player Tai Tai Killer could do a 4 hour act 10 with any skill in the game so does that mean does that mean that storm burst is a, is a 4 hour skill you know what what you're saying doesn't make any sense. Woo! Poison is super damage, and you can do heist early. I mean, if that's what you want to do, sure. I don't want to do heist. I I want nothing to do with heist. But if you do, then uh, by all means, have at it. But you can miss me with that heist action. I want no part of that. I'm trying to get my cat to come over here. Lily, come here. Come here. I'll show you guys my cat. If I can get her to come over here. Come over here. 
No, nope, nope, she's walking away. She's walking away. She don't give a shit. Still stuttering. Seems a little better, though. Oh, the dog came over, though. Of course the dog comes over. <laughs> hey, buddy. The doggo always comes over. He's like, you're not going to take the attention? I'll take the attention. There he is, guys. See? He's right there. He's right there. Yeah, we need to uh, we need to switch the gems. Our Trinity is unreliable. After this, I think we'll do it. Maybe the shield will be an upgrade finally. Uh, wow, it's got a shitload of resist. I think it is an upgrade. Oops, we missed that craft. Damn it, I can't go back in there now either. Fuck, what was that craft in there? I have to run all the way back through the tower to get that craft now. I don't, hopefully, I don't need it because I'm not going. I'm not doing it. Why does that just close off like that? It seems dumb. Just made it in 8.5 hours. I'm a speedrunner now. It's all good, man. If it takes you a couple days to finish the campaign, like, who cares? The leagues are, like, four months long now, so it's, like... It don't matter, dude. Being a day one trade league giga juicer, like, it doesn't matter. Who cares? It's a long league, man. There's no rush. I don't know if I want to do this right now. Yeah, I didn't really want to fight this guy right now. But I just accidentally found him. So I guess we'll do it since we're here. Just realized my stream paused. I've been sitting here waiting. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't even make it. I just grabbed it. I grabbed it from the fridge and I heated it up in the microwave because I made it earlier today. I was only gone for like one minute. Oh, God damn it. We went completely the wrong way. Fuck, no mana.
usually take one week to get to maps. I mean, one one week's a bit long, but if you only have like an hour a day to play, then then it's not, you know. Depends on how much time you have to play. That's what it all comes down to. Do you have ten hours a day to play, or do you only have like one hour to to play? It all depends. People are busy, man. Not everybody can know life the game. You always do the league mechanic, so it's slow. Yeah, the, the new league mechanic, I usually don't do it when I'm leveling. I'll usually try it like once just to like check it out, but then I'll skip it like the whole campaign. Streams lagging bad again. Lower the bitrate more. Man, how does a high bitrate? I need. I guess I don't. I must not even understand what bitrate even means, because like I don't understand how having a lower bitrate means you know you get a more stable stream. Is it right there? Yeah, it is right there. God damn it. It's more like four hours a day and I take four days. Yeah. One week vacation, nine days, and you're set. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do do that. Uh, okay, now what are we taking? Time to go crit, I think. Actually, no, let's get this stuff up here. Let's get this stuff, and then we'll go crit. High bitrate increases quality but can also increase instability because it requires more bandwidth. Bitrate relates to encoding. If it's heavy, it's set to the amount for data transfer. 6K bitrate is enough for full HD. Yeah, I added it at 6800 because that's what YouTube recommends. YouTube recommends 6800. That's what I've had it on the whole time. All day yesterday too. And yesterday seemed like there was like no problems. I am do better trade of your build. Do you want to see it? Better trading? Like better trading? Uh, trade links? Nah, man. That's okay. Thank you, though. Yeah, I said I was going to swap the gems, but I didn't.
This place right here is where you want a safety portal like more than anywhere else in the entire campaign. Because if you die here, not only do you have to run all the way back here, but you have to start over with this thing too. So it's like, you lose so much time if you die here without a portal down. You got Monday and Tuesday off? I have Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. Three days. I gotta work Friday morning, like Thursday night, Friday morning. But I'll be I'll be up and up and ready for the league start though. Take a short nap and then I'll be ready to blast. Although I need to I need to look at what time league started. Is is that what, for uh, Pacific time? Is it 1 p.m. or is it at 11 a.m.? I don't remember. Usually they're at 1 p.m. I hope it's at 1 p.m. because that'll let me sleep a little bit longer. Usually the bottleneck is ISP upload rate issues. Yeah, I think so too. My my upload rate doesn't seem super great. So many rares here, Jesus. Click on it. Tax speed crit. What Atlas mechanics are you gonna play? Ultimatum in essence, shrines, and then uh, maybe either harvest or expedition. One of the two. Not sure yet. Not sure yet. SSF practice run? Yeah, it is. Started is important. Doing crappy amulet sells for 10C. Selling uniques for a lot. It's very early. It's 2 a.m. my time. 2 p.m. CST time. Maybe run an Ethernet cable just when you're streaming. Uh, I don't really want to do that, though. That's a pain in my ass. I don't think I even have an Ethernet cable in my house. Brian King! Get my revenge on Brian King! Brian King killed my, uh, my first SSFHC character last league. I died to Brian King like a bozo. On my Bone Shatter Slayer SSF Hardcore. I think I was level 93. It's a pretty good character so far to that point, too. It's like a tier 16 map. Yeah, I've got to fix this. I gotta fix the gems. I'm gonna do it right now before I forget. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it now. 
right now. That's going off. That's going there. That's going there. That's going there. And we're putting on um, this. That can go there with that. And uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Yep. All right, let's check out this ring. This shield's crazy good. Let's put that on. I have no freaking ID scrolls, man. Alright, now let's go back. Ultimate Essence I play too, it's a nice profit. Yeah, it's gonna be good, for sure. Look at that, now the Paternity procs instantly. Instant Trinity proc now. Yep. Damage is very balanced now. My claw shield. Why not? I mean, two claws is not... Then you have to find two good claws. I, I'd rather only have to worry about finding one good claw than have to find two good claws. Finding one good claw is hard enough as it is. I don't really want to uh, have to worry about finding multiple good claws. What's OP about shield? There's nothing like really OP about shield while you're leveling, but it's just a pain in the ass to find two claws all the time while you're dual wielding. So that's why I don't do it. <coughs> that is the pretty much the only reason why I don't do it. You could do it. There's there's no reason why you couldn't do it if you want to manage finding two claw upgrades all the time. But I don't want to do that, so I just use one. It's, one is good enough. Why are you using claw? Because it's fast. Because it's fast AF, boy. <laughs> and because that's what you're going to use in the end game because of Nightblade. So you don't have to level with a claw, but they're they're good even without Nightblade. Like even without going crit early, the claw is still good because it's fast. It's fast and strong. There's lots of attack speed scaling on the on the tree for claws. get like this right here and all this right here. It's a lot of attack speed. Just got a brain aneurysm. Is dagger viable? Not really, no. Except for white wind. White wind is viable, like early, like day one. But like rare daggers, no, I wouldn't do that. 
Daggers are just like inferior to claws, like in every way. There's nothing good about daggers that claws aren't better for. Mostly because of elusive effect. Because claws can benefit from the dagger elusive effect nodes. But there's no claw nodes that have elusive effect that daggers can benefit from, like vice versa. So like it doesn't work both ways for daggers. Later you don't want dagger. The life on hit is just a bonus. That's not the main reason. The main reason is because of this right here. This right here and this mastery work with claws. But these masteries do not work with claws. So, like, you're not going to take this on dagger, right? Because this doesn't do shit for daggers. So that's why not, that's why claws are better. Because they can double dip on the dagger nodes. The life on hit is, is also very good, too. That's just kind of a bonus, though. It's a cherry on top, the life on hit. It's because of the passive tree. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yep. Should really be looking for some upgrades here. Damn, I need to go. I need to go there. Okay, I need a new belt. Look at this belt, and look at this chest. I need a belt and a chest, like immediately and I need to craft on the rest of my items. I have items with no crafts on them. <coughs> and my resists are still looking pretty good actually. I see some lightning resists from somewhere. So I need to pick up a belt and I need to pick up a new chest. I need a chest that has at least two green sockets and Maybe I can put my multi totem set up in the new chest. Okay, I don't actually want that. Remnants are useless while you're leveling. If it was in trade league. I would get that if this was trade league, probably, but it ain't. Do you plan to release the updated POB? Never played, so I'll desperately need yours. Um, I'm gonna continue working on it. It's it's almost done. It's close to being done, and then I just need to make the video. So I'll probably make the video um, like on Monday. Shit, maybe on Monday. On Monday, I might have it ready to to release. We'll see. Monday or Tuesday. But, um, spoil spoiler alert, guys. You could just watch the last league's league start video, and it's going to be, like, almost the same. <laughs> so, if you want to see a preview, just go watch the league start video from last league, because it's not going to be that different. It's going to be almost exactly the same. Want to practice Act 10? What tree should I follow? Um, 
go to the go to my uh, league start video from last league, and, and there's a there's POBs on that video that have leveling trees in them. If you want a leveling tree really badly. What about training not working that you tested even with Wrath it doesn't work? No, it works with Wrath. Trinity works with Wrath during the campaign. But it doesn't work with Heat Shiver. You can you can use Trinity during the campaign like I am right now. But once you get Heat Shiver, you can't really use it anymore. Doesn't pick up a Noble Claw. Oh yeah, I'm not really paying attention, guys. I'm trying to read chat. This run is scuffed, guys, because I'm trying to read chat. I'm not. Tr I'm not really paying close attention to the game. I'm paying more attention to the chat than I am to the game. I'm trying to keep you guys engaged. Got to keep the stream engaging and entertaining and fun and in a cool environment place to be, guys. I can't just hyper focus on my gameplay and pick up every single claw that drops. <laughs> right, guys? Right? What are your thoughts on progressing to red maps? Does it fall behind on damage and survivability? Um, if you don't if you don't get any upgrades, then yeah, sh of course it does. Just like any other build. You have to upgrade it. You can't just waltz into red maps with like shit blood aqueduct gear, you know, and expect to have a good time. You need to upgrade the, the build. Any build will fall behind in the same way if you don't get upgrades. The only build, maybe like the only build I can think of that won't is like Corrupting Fever. Corrupting Fever could probably waltz into red maps with Blood Aqueduct gear. But just about any other build probably can't. If you want a build that can do that, then just play Corrupting Fever. Corrupting Fever is freaking OP, dude. I love Corrupting Fever. I've least started it like three times before. I still haven't done the Einhar quest. Corrupting Fever is OP, guys, but it sucks at single target. It has weak single target. It's it's hard to scale. Even with heavy investment, it doesn't scale very very great. Not not great. <coughs> Training with Wrath is fine. When you get Heat Shiver, you swap to Ruthless. Yep, exactly. For red maps, you want spell suppression. Um. Yeah, you, you, you want to start having spell suppression when you get to red maps, definitely. You're going to get annihilated if you don't have spell suppression. It's not just that, though. You need to have, like, decent evasion pieces. You want to start getting your implicits done. You want pierce. You want, like, uh, hopefully... Um, What else? Just, just better gear in general, you know? Just better gear. Can't really say like exactly what you should have off the top of my head. I'd have to think about it. Which I'm trying to think about the, the game and think about reading chat at the, and think about what what gear do I need for red maps. I can't think about all that at the same time. My brain does my brain's my brain too small, <laughs> guys. My brain is too small. Tell him, chat. Tell him. Tell him what he needs for red maps. <coughs> Alva Temple. What the? God damn it. I just rubber banded back across that gap that I frost blinked over. I should probably upgrade my gear. I can just go do it right now. But like, do you guys see what I was saying earlier about how you don't want to get stun locked by your 
upgrading your shit when you can just go. Like, think about how much time I could waste if I, like, thought about going and, like, trying to craft and, like, f worry about this chest that I have, right? Like, look at these items, right? I, I should not have these items. These items are completely useless, right? But, like, who cares? Just go. Go, go, go. Oh, silver flask! That's huge, dude! Yes! Give me that. Um... Who cares, right? Just fix them later. Fix them later. I'll fix them... Well, it, it is later now. <laughs> now it is later. I should have fixed them earlier, but... I'll just fix them now, when it's later. Is it me or frames dropping like mad in Twitch? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to do about the, the bit rates being scuffed in Twitch. If you guys are on, if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, follow the Twitch channel, guys. We're streaming on Twitch now, guys. So uh, go to the channel; it's in the description. I think it, it should be in the description. It's the same name. Come follow the Twitch stream and uh, watch there. Eventually, I might stop the YouTube streams and just stream, uh, just start streaming exclusively on Twitch, maybe, because Twitch is uh, seems to be a bit more like engaging and. Uh, just kind of like a better place to stream in general. Oh, we forgot to pick up the fireflies. I will not start frost blades, and now I'm watching this. Uh, why? Why would you say that? It's okay. Why would you say you're not going to start it? Just go corrupting fever, man. If I wasn't starting Frostblades, here's I'll tell you guys what I would start. If I wasn't starting Frostblades, I would start either Corrupting Fever Gladiator, not Champion, Corrupting Fever Gladiator, or EK Ignite. I would 100% be league starting one of those two things. EK Ignite or Corrupting Fever Glad. Everyone switched onto the champion CF train ever since uh, Rutu made the the poet's pen version. But Gladiator is so smooth and fast and good, dude. I like the Gladiator version still. You can't beat Challenger charges, man. Adrenaline does not compete with Challenger charges for speed. Vendor here soon. Let's kill this essence. Oh, a chest piece. I should look at that chest piece. Let's look at this one. No, that's shit. What's this one? That one's shit too. Start looking at chest pieces. Frame drops too much. Turn the bitrate down. I did turn it down. How much? If I turn it down lower, won't the stream just freaking crash? Doesn't it have to be like at a <laughs> at a certain bitrate level, or am I just gonna be streaming at like 360p? Am I gonna be streaming at 360p? Come to Twitch, sit around the fire, and share a frame. Oh, is it that bad? What about the audio? Is the audio, like, laggy, though? Or is it just the video? How does it work like that? It's so confusing, dude. Did I get all of them? 54, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I did get all of them. Sell this shit first. Let's 
See, like, these are good. I'll keep those, I guess. Might use those later. Click, 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 click. From YouTube, the video is smoother and the audio is better. If I wasn't starting Frostblades, I'd go Reign of Arrows Raider. Oh, really? Reign of Arrows Raider. With what kind of damage? What kind of damage does that build do? Hope the new ascendancies have a mini challenger charge one. Arena challenger is the strongest ascendancy node like in the entire game, dude. It's so good. It's crazy good. Lowered it to 5,500, Trig. What what do you think I should lower it to? Should I lower it to 3,500? again in a minute. See if it makes a difference. Oh, a sulfur flask. Don't think I can really put that one on. Eagle claw. Okay, I picked up the claw. You guys happy? I picked up the claw. Okay, here. I'll change it. I'll lower it again. from OBS. Okay, I lowered it. I lowered the bit rate. Tell me if it changes. Oh yeah, I got seven skill points. <laughs> I didn't put them in. I think we're going crit now. We'll take these nodes. And we'll take this node. And we'll take... I probably want this one too. I want this node too though. Although I don't really need it right now. Let's take this. We're going to start going crit, and we're going to switch to Assassin's Mark at some point, too. Oh, man, I got annihilated. Wait, this is the wrong way, huh? Yeah. How come this one, like, starts you at the door, but, like, on the correct floor? Some of these zones are funny how they work. Most of them will start you in the previous zone, but this one starts you in the same zone. Dual streaming, yeah. If I was only streaming on one platform, that would it would must have some kind of impact, right? But I'm streaming to two different platforms. Maybe I'll switch to just Twitch for League Start. What do you guys think? All you guys on YouTube, would you guys be uh, 
Would you guys rather I s keep continue streaming to YouTube, or would you guys uh, be down to come to Twitch and watch there? Because I uh, eventually I don't really want to continue double streaming because it's kind of annoying. I'd rather just stream on Twitch, I guess. I don't know. I don't really care, I guess. Twitch is king. It's more comfy. Yeah, I can see why. I can see the features and stuff that Twitch has. It is nice. YouTube is, uh... That's like my main channel, though, you know? That's where, uh... That's where my videos are. That's where, like... Everyone finds my stuff and whatnot. <clears throat> it's not stairs, it's a new floor, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I should really have, like, Multi totem by now. It's kind of crazy that I don't have multi totem and bone chill. I'm like throwing by not having that. This corner over here is annoying. came from YouTube it's a lot smoother and clearer YouTube is for videos Twitch is for stream <laughs> yeah you also make more money on Twitch no that's not true at all I'm already partnered on YouTube I'd have to I don't think I could ever be a partner on Twitch I don't have I can't stream enough days so I don't think that's true at all you have to stream like 12 days a month or something minimum to be a Twitch partner. I don't think I can stream. I work full time, guys. I can't stream 12 days a month. Plus, I don't think I could like ever get enough viewers to actually make the partnership program. So I'd, I don't think I'd make like any money on Twitch. Not that it's even about that. It's it's not even about that. I don't even care about that. I don't do this to make money. <coughs> It's all about what's the better way for more people to see the content, you know? That's that's what it's about. That's why I'm double streaming right now in the first place. More eyes on the on the prize. Lots of people just link their Twitch on YouTube videos. Yeah, I know. Well, most of the big content creators, you know, they they're already known on Twitch, you know? I just started streaming on Twitch yesterday, so... <laughs> it's not like uh, my Twitch is like well-established or anything. I don't really care one way or the other. I'll stream on Twitch, or I'll stream on YouTube. It's makes not, it doesn't really make much of a difference to me. Maybe I'll just keep streaming on both. As long as I can get the bitrate bitrate issue figured out. It was working fine yesterday, I'm pretty sure. We didn't have any issues yesterday. I don't know what is going on today. Alright, we gotta fix we gotta fix our gear here. Finally. Let's finally fix our scuffed ass gear. Oh there we're keeping those. What's this? Nah. Um, I need something with sockets, but I need red sockets, so I need like an armor evasion base. Okay, let's put those on, because those are just way better. What did we lose? Strength? Those had 10 strength on them. I need like an armor evasion base, like this one, this one. 
Not a blue one, though, goddammit. Why are they all blue? Fuck. Blue again. Why are they all blue? Son of a bitch. Okay, what about belt? I need a new belt, too. Um, this one has 78 life on it. Let's just buy that, I guess. Let's see if we can get lucky on sockets. There we go. That's That'll work. And let's see if we can link them. That should work, too. Can we get three red there? Let's see if we can link this. Yes. Okay, now three red, please. Surely we can get three red. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me three red. There we go. Okay, let's put... Uh, wait. Let's slam this. Strength. That's nice. And then we regal it. Dex. And then... Now we put multi-totem in there. We're going to fix our build, guys. We're going to fix all the scuffed shit we should have did a long time ago. Uh, we get multi-totem. And then we put that there. And then we get War Chief 2. And we put that in there. And then we also need Bone Chill. Where's Bone Chill at? Right here. Bone Chill. And then that's going to go with Frost Blink. Okay, we need Int from something, a new belt. Our new belt is gonna have int on it or we can just craft it right here. What's our res? Res is fine. Res is chillin'. Let's craft int right here. Triple attribute chest, by the way. Oh, I gotta take the gems out to put it back on. Okay, now uh, I need this with my Frost Blink. Let's take all this shit out. We gotta get our gems back on. Ditch all these items. Ditch this. Ditch all this shit. Okay, now let's go get a belt. I work full time. I can stream every day if I wanted. The job's only eight hours. Well, I got kids, man. I can't do that because I got kids. I don't have two wisdom scrolls to buy this belt. Are you kidding me? I could stream every day too if I was single and I didn't have kids and the family and shit. So, but that's not reality. What's this one? Reflects damage, dexterity. Nope, we're alking it. Life. Res. Okay, that'll do. Alright, now how do we get our gems on here? That one needs to be linked to that. No. It needs to be linked to that. That can go away. Those can go there. That can go there. That can go there. Alright, now we just need to get these on. Wrath can go right there. And then... We just need a two. We need two blue sockets now on something, on this. Can we link it? Bam! There we go. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. All right. I think we're done now. The only thing we're missing is the curse setup. Assassin's Mark curse on hit, which we will put that on later. We'll put that on later. Alright, let's fix our action bar, and we'll do that while we're running. Alright, we just gained a shitload of damage, guys. We just gained a ton of damage. Using Lily for gems is cheating? No, it's not. She goes to your hideout after you finish X6. What are you talking about? It's not cheating. She goes there. Okay, that needs to be curse. Okay, I can't forget about my curse. It's on my other other bar. <clears throat> she's in Act 6. I mean, I could just I could have just gone to Act 6 to buy them there, but she's in your hideout. Remember reading that Twitch is going to change something about bitrate sooner? Yeah, I just read something about that too, just like the other day. The CEO said they're working on new servers or some shit. I don't know. I still don't really even understand how it all works, guys. I'm new. I'm new at this, so I'm learning. 
I'm learning as I go. Is the quality better now, though? Guys, is the Twitch quality... Uh, did it smooth out at all, or is it still stuttering like shit? It's still stuttering. Yeah, that's... That's, uh, unfortunate. Damn it, I ripped. Yeah, I can see it even. I can see it stuttering. I don't know what to do, guys. I lowered the bitrate like a lot. your family allow you playing PoE? <laughs> what? What does that mean, sir? Does, does my family allow me to play PoE? I mean, yeah, I can still play a little bit, but I can't, not enough to, like, stream. I'm not going to stream, like, on my work days. Because I still, like, have to, like... <laughs> work out and like you know make dinner and shit and like spend some time with my family and like help with homework you know and I can't just work and then stream and then go to bed <laughs> you know stop streaming on YouTube yeah maybe I will after this boss or something oh shit oh shit Too much going on. Too much going on. Stirring, but I've seen the campaign a lot, so I'm here for the chats. Yeah. There's a lot of people on YouTube watching. There's more on Twitch, though, I guess. I right, guess I think I'm gonna turn the YouTube stream off. Hold on. Let me log out. I'm gonna pause the timer again. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the YouTube stream, guys. Pause the timer. YouTubers, um, I'm ending the YouTube stream. Go to Twitch to continue watching. Twitch.tv uh. Yeah, I'm going to turn off the YouTube stream, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, come over to Twitch. Come follow the Twitch stream and uh, watch there, guys. I'm going to... It's. I'm having some bandwidth issues. So I'm going to see if I can resolve the bandwidth issues just uh, by turning off YouTube for now. So I'm just going to stream on Twitch for the rest of the stream. Okay, guys? So if you're watching on YouTube... Go over to Twitch, okay? And if not, then uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, Alright, I'm ending the stream on YouTube.